Hey folks, welcome back. Welcome back. It is nice to see you once again. Welcome to my black screen of infinite loading, also known as <laughs> Welcome to Paradise. Uh, it is loading in the background. I do, I do promise you, I do assure you that it is. I had the title screen up just a minute ago with the funky music playing and hit continue thinking, yep, games load like that nowadays. But this one maybe needs a bit more waking up. Anyway, how's everyone doing? I hope you're having a, uh, a great week. It is Monday. It is the start of the week. And yet it also already feels like it should be approaching the end of the week. <sighs> anyway, let's crack on. I think we're going to make some good progress in this today. I would very much like us to try and finish this game, certainly this week. But uh, I, I think there's a couple more streams left in this. So let's see, what were we doing? Let's go take a look at my quests. So worth melting for. Oh, I've got to destroy the snowmen. This is the ice palace thing, isn't it? Okay. I've got to dig up some truffles. I don't actually know where to go for that one. The twinkles and the knives, they're just ongoing things, so that's okay. Let's have a look. Set active and worth melting for is also set active. No, it's not. Did I just did I just unset active the one I wanted setting active? There we go. I, I obviously did right. Let's take a look on the map. So digging up truffles. I, I honestly have no idea where to go for that. That's a repeatable quest. Uh, that's that's a repeatable quest. Okay, so it's not that then. Maybe I have to go and speak to someone. That's a repeatable quest. That's the twinkle quest. Uh, that's a repeatable quest to kill a mm, giraffe, that one, that's a giraffe. Okay, nothing to go and do up there yet then. We know where the ice palace was though, right? It wasn't, don't we? It was, it was somewhere up here, the ice castle entrance. Let's go and do that. I'm just going to look on the map now, because remember we saw that Among Us base that was drawn on. What's, is there anything else drawn on like that? That was one of the coolest things I think I've, I've seen. A nice little Easter egg in the game. Where was it? It was up here somewhere, wasn't it? It wasn't that one. It was it was there somewhere. It was awesome anyway, wherever it was. So, we did some base defences at the end of the last session. That looked like it went off quite well. Let's move out and I'm going to have to read the quest notes for that one. And we're going to go and find out where the truffles are. But we do need to go and kill some snowmen. Oh, hang on. Yeah, the snowmen weren't actually in the ice castle, were they? They're in the rest of the zone. Okay, we might need to do a bit of traveling around to find these things then. And also, I might need to rapidly equip my zombies with something to keep me nice and warm, a combustor. They've both got that? Yeah, that's okay. They're both set then to look after yours truly in his hour of need. So the snowmen could be just anywhere around here. I think we just set out and just start shooting. Is that not there? It, oh, and speak of the devil. Nice. I wonder if we just. It did reset my quest progress for that look because I had done several, and for whatever reason, it decided that it wanted me to have done none. So. Also. Oh, we can shoot this. Oh, well, this is okay. Then we can shoot through this one. Boom. You gotta love the shotgun. Oh, that's one of mine, is it? Right, okay. That's fine then. Hey Leonidas, how's it going? Starting shooting is usually a good start. You can't go too far wrong if you just always pull the trigger on the gun, right? If I just run through all this massive zombie spawn zone like this, and then turn around with an unloaded shotgun, which is not the idea. My guys can't catch me up actually. And I'm freezing to death as well. I am freezing to death. Holy crap. Zombies come back. I'm dead. <laughs> I can't believe that. I froze to death. I thought we'll just... Uh... I am dead, aren't I? I'm supposed to be dead. I thought we'll just group up all those zombies and I'll shoot them. But no. Because uh, I forgot it gets rather cold without these two here to, to keep me warm. Great start. <laughs> Does the snowman reappear? No. Oh, we seem to have no shortage of zombies here, though. Which one was the me? Is the, is the me still... 
One of those must have been me. Oh well, here we go. How's Leonidas today? Hey, a pan? Icicle mark. Yeah, it didn't take long to freeze, did it? I don't think I've got any cold-resistant food. I might be wrong. Oh, hang on. There's a snowman down there. Look. And it will not let me target it. Oh, yes, it will. Hang on. There we go. There we go. Sorted. I should keep an eye out for them, actually. I might be able to get quite a few more. There's one just there. I think I got a stealth bonus for shooting a snowman. It's like the snowman didn't see it coming or something. Hey, Nicodemus. I'm good, thanks. How are you? At least I'm better this week than I was last week. I had a, a lot of stuff going on last week. It's, it's, it's all turned out to be mostly okay, thankfully, but... Uh, uh, not with me so much as family and stuff. Parents getting old, that sort of that sort of family stuff. But yeah, I'm good, thanks. How are you? It's a sunny of somewhat chilly morning, Kansas land. It's actually it's something similar here. It's nice to see the weather improving. Spring's coming, the trees are bursting into leaf. It's uh, it's awesome. There's one. I see one. Can I can I get him from here? Hang on, just reload that. I don't think I can get... I've got the, I do have the range, I just can't target the thing, though. It's too far to target. Certainly from another level. If I was lower down, I think I might be able to actually shoot it. Oh, that looks, um, beast. Okay, we've, we've clearly got something nasty. There we go. There's something chewing on me. Don't seem to be hitting those things. I think I need to leave uh, my zombies to kill the dancing ones. I don't think I can even hit them with the shotgun, which is like, it's not exactly targeting them. Certain classic games been brought to your attention during the last week. Golden Eye Source. They re-released, didn't they? Or did a remaster of Golden Eye? Was it last year? No, it must have been the year before. Nicodemus, thank you. Here, <laughs> uh, I always give you this when I catch a stream. Thank you very much for how long is that now? Eight months of subs. That's awesome, Nicodemus. Thank you. I greatly appreciate it. Um. I'm saying yes. Talk about classic games and classic shooters. You'll have heard the uh, the message around the the Star Wars Battlefront classic. Sort of, is it a remake or is it a remaster? It's a remaster, I think, or a re-release anyway. And Aspire, the people behind it, have totally screwed it up beyond belief. Made it unplayable. They had something like three servers available for the PC launch of it. Three servers of 64 players maximum each. That was it. To re-release. It's such a mess. Such an utter mess. I can't believe it's so bad. I was thinking of picking it up because I like those sort of games. And the old Star Wars games are better than the new ones. But honestly, it, it was just shocking. I mean, I, you do wonder how people, how companies can make such a mess of, um, you know, re-release of old games which are there and already working. I can't. I can't target this one. This one's invul invul in in invulnerable. Invulnerable. It's a it's a new word I'm making up. A mix of uh, invulnerable and invincible. I quite like it. In invulnerable. Yes, we're going to go with that. They put on a clinic for how not to do a re-release. Yeah, it was it was bad. Yeah, the old games that you can buy individually outside of the collection. Are not, they not only work better, but they're also like a fraction of the download size. So whatever they did combining these two into this package for this re-release, they've like, I don't know. I mean, Battlefront 2 is what's 10 gigabyte download. So Battlefront 1 and 2 together in this, this re-release is a 70 gigabyte download. Go figure. I don't know what Battlefront 1 is, but it, I'm sure it'd be less than Battlefront 2. I think we need to leave this bit. This bit's not really finding me lots of snowmen to harvest. We're at a massive four out of 15. This could take some time. Uh. 
I, I really wish that we'd been given this snowman quest at the start of this zone and not at the end of it, because it's it's super annoying trying to go back looking for them. There's one. Yay, get him. Oh, we've not found the weather station before. Hey, Phil, you know what's better than uh, failed re-release Star Wars games? The Sun McCracken Brigade. They are indeed on Team Awesome. I was hoping to get uh, another episode of Civil War General released, or at least recorded, over the weekend, but sadly it didn't happen. Uh, so I will try and get that in the next day or two. Uh, GoldenEye Source, yes, Pan, sorry. It's basically the N64 GoldenEye game, but remade in the Source engine. It's free and community maintained. Awesome. I'm gonna, I might have to check that out. I didn't, because I loved Goldeneye, the original one, but I, I didn't look at the, um, the sort of re-release of it. Can we just walk through that? I thought we'd have to climb in and out of this place. Interesting. Yeah, I had many, many fine hours playing Goldeneye. Such a good, fun game. Back in the day, of course. I mean, like anything else, things age. Things look dated, but I mean, I imagine it would still be a whole load of fun. Well, we're finding lots of zombies to kill, but what we're not finding is lots of flipping snowmen. Perfect for family game night until someone picks odd job. <laughs> yeah, or they get the golden gun, then it's like, that's not fair. I'm not playing anymore. You cheat. You always get the golden gun. <laughs> no, leave it, leave it, folks. Come this way instead. Because it's very important the zombies come this way. Because if they don't come this way, I freeze to death. Okay, it looks like I've maybe aggroed something here. I'm going to dig this chest up anyway. What have we got? I'm freezing. Batteries. We haven't found a job for batteries yet. Oh, there's a zombie here. I didn't recognize him in there milling around with mine. Is that one? No, he's one of mine. We're good. Hey, Shiloh did go well for me in uh, Civil War General. It was, um, that was a good fight. But then it does help when you know what's coming. When, you use, when you're playing historical war games, if you use your knowledge of history to know what to expect and when to expect it, I mean, it, it does make a massive difference. Uh, you're going to blow up my face, aren't you? How many more of these are explosive dudes? Also, why am I freezing to death? Where are my guys? Come on, just just come here. They don't seem to want to come and play. I'm going to guess there's a chest in here. And a snowman. I'm going to have to run back. This is awful. Why aren't my zombies coming? Hang on, I've got to, I'm just going to sprint back here. Get in the warmth. Bandage. They're caught on this, I think, is the problem. Can they... If I bring them over here, they should be able to follow. No, the one that matters... Okay, this is super annoying. I I, I, I really... This this does annoy me in the game. I don't know where he came from. Right, so the guy's out now, so that's, that's fine. Right, come on then. You can follow on now. Hey, Matino. Just joined what happened. Not a whole lot in this, uh, this this level so far. Other than the fact that my zombies aren't keeping me warm. Where's the... Oh, did we not get him? Honestly, you just can't get the staff these days. I thought we'd killed him. Right. I need the zombies to run, run with me to keep me warm, because otherwise I freeze to death in the snow when they've got this, these heat gears on. And they're not coming with me. It's because I've got them set to to um, use their flipping weapons out of combat so they're attacking buildings. 
Right, that's it. I'm going to die second time. I'm getting a bit fed up with this. I'm going to have to go and give them a, a different command. Where is he? Is this, this the hot guy? It is. So sadly, I'm going to have to change you to not use that out of combat. Because it's just, it's just, they're just going into combat instead of running around with me when there's buildings. So annoying. Been watching the Hearts of Iron series too. The Germans could turn into a serious problem. Yeah. Yeah, when we go and deal with the Germans, um, I'm going to have to open several fronts against them because they are too big and powerful. Will you come with me, you scumbag? Actually, that's, that's not one of my... But he turned up and he, he, he set me on fire. So actually, I'm, I'm quite happy. Because I was about to freeze to death with this cold meter down here. Honestly, this, this little section here is driving me insane. Where? I need, to, I need to shoot that thing off. Where is it? Right, so if that goes... And then I can't... Come here. I need to find... There's a chest in here, I think. But I can't see it. There it is. I, I see it. I see it. That was a lot of work to get what's possibly a lot of garbage. Come here! Where's my guy at? Uh, I'm going to die. There's, there's none of them here. I can't do anything with this. Hang on, can I capture one? All I can do is just keep bandaging here. This is insane. Right, he sets me on fire, which buys me some time. I need to capture one of these zombies. Mine are all dead. Okay, well, that, that explains... I'm sure one was with me when I ran into that flipping building, though. Right, I can capture you, right? Okay, so we're safe. I think, for the moment. That was not good. <laughs> hey, Max Ammo. Nice name, by the way. You might need to throw out the ping, ping to organise a game night for the weekend. Yeah, go for it. I'm not usually around at weekends, but uh, definitely get them organised. Oh, there's something up there to dig up. I'm not going back for that. After all that effort. Right, I need... I need a load of zombies again. I don't think I'm going to get too cold in the midst of all that, am I? Has he got anti-bloody... Anti-projectile armor. He has. Does that work? No. Oh, it does. Somehow. Somehow it went through. I don't quite know how it went through, but it went through his, his, um, his protection. Yes. <laughs> that was oddly satisfying. No, come here. Zombies, come here. I don't know. I think I need to get better zombies. The staff aren't behaving themselves today. Let me see if I... Where does... This, there's one keep sneaking in. Where do they come from? Oh, God, here we go. All right, it's a fight then. They're going to run off there. If I, if I go into my inventory to set some stuff up and a fight starts, they will run off and I will freeze to death. It, it's so odd. How quickly it works, but it works. This is the right arm. I think this is good. Yep, so that should give us some more cold resistance. Okay, it's time to deal with these guys now, I think. At least we are well equipped to deal with hordes like this. Very good, very good. Right. Let's find some snowmen. I've got ten snowmen to find. <sighs> Honestly, it's getting a bit um, repetitive as this quest. Hi, Dylan. You played this thanks to me. I want to say thank you. It was great fun. Ah, I'm glad you enjoyed it. Have you finished it then? Or are you still still going through it?
because I was hoping to get some, um, I was hoping to get this finished last week actually, but events overtook me. But uh, yeah, I've enjoyed it. It's been good. It's fully finished. What level am I? 44. I, I feel like I'm fairly close to the end with things. So I think if we just get a couple of these areas done, there's obviously the volcano to go back to. Do you know what we might need to do? Is set these guys to actually start taunting a bit more. That might that might work. Let's get taunt on. Do we have taunt? Oh, they're, they're on to taunting combat. There, yeah, that one as well. I love that graphic and animation where you just, you're like some sort of destroyer just wading through, oh there we go, we found the snowman, just wading into a horde of enemies, just, just poof, chugging away with a shotgun, it's, it's so cool. You have some sort of glitch going on with the graphics up there. Zombies come home! Which way? This is a dead end. Okay, it wasn't supposed to be a dead end. Unless I can get down there. Nope, I can't. Something, something's going berserk over there. Oh, I've got one on me. Damn things. Let's go. Let's go this way and take this place out. Snowman up here, maybe? Oh, I feel like I've been up there before. Okay, there's been a fight up there before. Also, temperature's dropping very quickly. I think I may have picked up too many flamethrowers. Snowman? It's got to be a snowman at the end of this, surely. Where am I going? Am I going back on myself now? Hmm, sort of. Aha! That is a very good look. Hang on, let's just get the snowman dead. You're searching for another game to play. What's your next game you're going to stream so you can play along? Ooh, that's a good question because there's some awesome stuff about to drop. There, there is, I think, if I might be mistaken on the release date for this, but I thought it was in the next few days. I think about the 21st. Uh, Ghost of Tsushima, which is ported over from the PlayStation and is like a samurai sort of fighting game, uh, adventure game. It looks awesome on the PlayStation. It came out a couple of years ago. I've wanted to play it ever since, but I'm not buying a PlayStation just, just to play that one game. So it's coming to PC. I would like to play that, but I also expect that the PC port is quite buggy, as often they, they are. So they're usually better left for uh, left for like a, a few weeks at least, or a couple of months to get the bugs ironed out. So I will have a look at that and see what the situation with it is. But also in the next few few weeks i'm going to say what have we got we've got end of march um dragon's dogma dragon's dogma 2 is that's that's very close now uh, i think i'll definitely be playing that hi david it seems i have more zombie followers yes i've managed to recruit the uh, the hordes now to my side it's got a bit easy actually let me just let me just um get rid of some duplicate flamethrowers and stuff yeah that's that's a lot better Flamethrowers are a little bit heavy to be carrying around here. Common mace. I don't need a bat. I will... It's a common chainsaw. Oh, I don't need a common chainsaw. I've got the better chainsaw. Right there. 
And we've got a big heavy flamethrower. Let's ditch that. And a common rifle, I can ditch that too. The mythical flamethrower. It wasn't that mythical, sadly. It didn't feel that good when I was, um, I was playing with that. Uh, let's carry on south. Let's go and find some more snowmen to destroy. Yeah, Dragon's Dogma 2. I'm really looking forward to that. And then next month, we've got all sorts of things. We've got Manor Lords, if you prefer your games more, more of a strategy sort of uh, title, rather than all action. Can't target this one. Why can't I target this one? I can't get the guys to attack it. I've got a bugged one. Hang on. I can't blow it away with a shotgun either. Let me try the flamethrower, actually. Let me just do, uh, let me just do this. Don't think it's going to work, but... No, we have an unmeltable snowman, which is a real shame. Hmm. That is a pity. So, we have a bugged one, then. Damn them. Damn them all. Where did I come from? Was it... Uh, it wasn't this way. What else? What sort of games do you like, uh, Dylan? Because there is quite a lot of stuff coming out in the next month. I have a list, actually, on the PC. I should go and, should go and take a look and check it out. Did you get him, boys? I think you got him. I may as well get this chest up here. I always seem to be on the wrong weapon when I'm playing about with these. Hmm. In fact, let me just have a look, because this this is this is annoying me now. I can't remember. Oh I don't have the I don't have the note up. It's okay, I'll have to have a look some other time then. Trying to think what else, what are the games I've got um, listed to look out for. But there's a load in March and April. Anything good? No. No, just, just tat. Right, we've got half the snowmen, so I, I feel like we are making progress at least. this how big a group can we get there's going to be a few in there right aha we see one and he's targetable so this one's not bugged that's good to know I'm just suddenly thinking what if what if there's only a finite amount of snowmen and I need to get the bugged ones, but then can't? Oh, God, that's a bomb. It's a bomb, is it? Why? Are my zombies going mad attacking this place? I don't really want them going in there. He just charred me. Right, this, this is bad news because I will freeze to death without them. Actually, I'm going to run away. I'm going to die? They've got flipping... They've got rifles. I'm just going to wait for my gang. Actually, I'm just going to capture one of these. You can keep me warm right here. Right, panic over. So that's a big base, is it? We have done that base before and gone through it. I don't really want to go to the effort of doing it again. Anything Baldur's Gate 3 like? Oh, well actually, actually it's not really Baldur's Gate 3 like, but uh, there's a game, I was gonna play it. I might still stream it actually this coming week. Normandy 44, classified Normandy 44. It's basically like, like XCOM, but World War II where you've got a squad of uh, elite soldiers or undercover experts or resistance experts, and you go around doing little, like, little combat missions, turn-based. 
like XCOM, a bit like the combat in Baldur's Gate 3. I've got that installed and ready to go, actually. But you're up for Dragon's Dogma. Good, that looks good. I've not really played the first one to any great level, so I'm not going to worry about that, though. I'm just going to enjoy the second. People have been shouting for a sequel for that for years. It's, it's obviously been in development for a while, because you can't just conjure these games up overnight, but uh, it's nice that it's coming out. Hey, we are down to, I need six more snowmen. We would have been fine if they hadn't bugged out. Oh, there's one. He's bugged. I wonder if that's one that we've destroyed previously. It's... No, no, no. The zombies are going for it. Okay, that's, that's good news. That is good news. Is this a dead end? Oh, I remember this place. I remember trying to push someone in a wheelchair over this and finding it very, very awkward. That's upsetting. Hmm, I'm not seeing snowman around here. Oh, I've picked up the bloody flamethrower again, that's it. The weight. Tell you what, let's, let's go this way. We'll go up there. Because there might be something in this direction, hopefully, that we can reach and attack. Hey! Hey, hang on, where's my crew at? I'm finding it really annoying that they will not follow me everywhere. Is that... A, I see a snowman. I do. I see a snowman. Excellent. Eleven. Four to go. Is that it? Is that a dead end here? Hmm, it is. No way up there, is there? How did we... What is this area up here? They can fall down. Oh, it's just on the other side? Okay, so there's, there's a chest. We, we might go back and get that then. Kate's wheelchair was a pain, but made it memorable. That's very true. I don't think I would remember that part if it wasn't for the fact that I'm associating it with the, the pain in the ass that Kate was in a wheelchair trying to push it over there and its dodgy controls. Do you know what it felt like? It was trying to like, it was like trying to push a shopping trolley around the supermarket. You know one of those that has a dodgy wheel that doesn't sit in line with the others? And that, that one wants that wheel at that corner wants to turn at right angles all the time? That's what it feels like trying to steer Kate's wheelchair around this map. That's a load of junk I left. Oh, this is the base then. Right, let's shoot the... Is this worth me trying to get in? Let me shoot some holes in the walls. Here, we can go in this way. We're going to breach at this side instead. Can I not revive him? Oh, we've got one left. We've got one left. It's okay. We're in. Hang on. I'm just going to take all that. It's weirdly hard to actually target things in these bases. Oh. 
We'll have that, I think. Snowy Mountain Armor right leg. We might have found something new here. Do I already have the right leg? No, I didn't. So, I don't know what the hell. I'm looking like some sort of bird man dressed up here. These look like feathers. Maybe it's fur. Fur would make more sense. You always get that shopping trolley. Yeah, it's it's the law. Out of the 150 shopping trolleys in, in, the, in the pile, you will get the one with a faulty wheel. <laughs> and then it always feels like too much effort to take it back by the time you realize that it's bad. So you just... You just persist with it and put up with it for your shopping trip. I don't know why we do that. Uh, let's see. I do want to go down here. I, I have a feeling there's a snowman down here to get. Please let there be a snowman. Yes. Three to go. There's none in the caves, are there? Or at the other side of the caves. It's it's a possibility. Let me just search this corner. No, that's good. I'm kind of hoping they respawn because I I might need to go over to the same area to find some more. I like the tracks in the snow. Not ours, but they look good. Oh, there's one of those. Quick, get him. Those with a rifle, they're not to be messed with. There he is. Get him. Fucking zombies trying to headshot me. I mean, it's the cheek of it. Right, there wasn't the snowman here after all that, sadly. Oh. What other game have we played recently where you've got quests like this where it's really hard to find all the individual things? I mean, I know we had to do the, um, the other quest to get some leather once, and it seemed like leather was... The rarest resource on earth when I was trying to find one piece of it. Did I get the two outside the cave where you brought Kate? Where would that be? I mean, where, where was the cave that I, I took Kate to? Because I honestly can't remember. Is it here? There's a couple that we've seen that can't be attacked, that are either bugged or have been done. Because here's the thing, this is what I'm really worried about. A stream or two ago when we started this quest, we got about three after we realized we had to kill them. And then the quest reset itself. And I don't know if those three are now attackable or whether it respawns or what. I just don't know. And I'm a bit concerned that we're going to end up with an unfinishable quest. And if that were the case, it would be an unfinishable game because I can't, I can't progress <laughs> until we've got them done. So this is this is just a dead end. So there's nothing in here. Wouldn't it be cool if we found one outside a cave and just going in and out of the cave forced them to respawn? So I guess we're going north into this horde of zombies. Go on then, let's go and wake them all up. So satisfying doing that. I honestly hated the shotgun when I first uh, got it in the game. The, um, the crappy air rifle version. Yay, we got the goat. I love the goat's death animation. They leap in the sky. Oh, snowman, snowman. 
Two snowmen. Awesome. And they're attackable, so that's perfect. Well, one is. Oh, that one is okay. Okay, okay. One left. I feel like we're making progress now. So, I am here. I'll maybe have a look up there. I don't know if I've been up there. Which way to go? Let's go. Let's go north first, and I'll drop back into this if need be. Well, I haven't been to pick this stuff up, so there's potentially something here. If we're lucky. Oh, those were the snowmen? Those last two? Okay, well. Okay, then. One more. So the good news is it seems that there isn't a finite number of snowmen. Having said that, maybe there are. And even though the quest reset, there's still like, like a set 15 you have to kill. And there was that one that was bugged and I couldn't target. What if that was the one? Oh, God, now I'm worried. I can't even remember where that was. I'd have to retrace my steps. Actually, can we get down into this bit? Uh, zombies. Oh, okay. Mission accomplished. Awesome. Right, leave them. We don't need to go down there, as it turns out. Right, leave him alone. There's a flipping base over here. We don't need him. Come here. Team. Team, come here. I've just realised the music's playing jingle bells in the background. The combat music's got, like, someone playing jingle bells on the triangle. <laughs> Right, okay, I need to I need to go north and we need to destroy the palaces destroy the palaces snowman. Okay, so that's the next part of the quest. Let's also get tooled up here. Why is it always kill the snowman type quest? Why not a quest where you help the snowmen control their yellow snow problem? I guess we could take them to see Annie the Medic. Or maybe it's a drinking problem they've got. Oh crap, I thought this was a fast travel point on the map. I looked at this thing. It's actually... It's, oh, that is a long way away. But having said that, I see no quicker options, so... So let's go. Watching my temperature gauge. That was the bugged snowman, I think. I'm going to try and destroy it again now. No. Can't touch that one. For reasons unknown. Oh, wait a minute. Just a minute. What if I dig in front of it? Nothing. Okay. I wondered if it was maybe like a totem pole and there was something buried there, like on that other quest in the swamp. Is this the right way? It is not. Right, this should be the right way. Oi, team, come here. Mm. 
We don't care about the zombies. We need to. We need to do this. I love the range of this rifle. I'll try. Oi, come here. Come here. I'll try and get rid of some of the uh, weight before we go into the fight in the palace. Come on, guys. Come on. Back over here. Oh, this, this is a shotgun area, isn't it? There's no doubt about it. Right, we should be coming to an end of this. Oh, that is such a satisfying weapon to use. This is the right way, thank God. <laughs> like you shoot it and there's like limbs and bits go flying everywhere. Okay, I might nip back to base to drop off some of the waste. I feel like I'm carrying way too much stuff. Let's let's do a scrap junk. 118. That's that's got me close. Um, I don't need a common mace or a baseball bat or claws. Uh, I don't need a rifle or or a machine gun or a flamethrower. That's got us under the weight limit, so that's that's great. The armor I need to save back at base in case I want that stuff back. Food is what it is. Miscellaneous stuff. This is heavy. That adds up quite a bit. Okay, on top of that, I think we can probably craft us some bullets. There we go. I don't know if that helps with weight or not. Nope, makes no difference. Makes sense. Right then, let's go in. It says, destroy the palace's snowmen. I'm going to guess it's up here, but uh, I'm not getting like quest markers on the map anymore. What is that? Okay, this wasn't it. That's an old waypoint I've put up. As is that. Yeah, I'm, a, I'm not going to lie. I'm a little bit confused at this point. Am I in the right area, Dylan, for this? I mean, this is the palace, I think. It's not... I'm not supposed to be shooting these ice statues because I have a feeling they're going to come to life at some point. I'll take a look on the other side of the bridge. Let's take... Actually, let's take a look at the, the quest. It's got a... Ariel built snowmen all around the mountains. Seems like the cold never bothered her, but destroying her imaginary friends probably will. Okay, I, I might have to come out the game and come back in. She's building the one you're looking for? Okay, thanks, uh, thanks, Lee. Ha! Question is, though, where is she? Oh, aha! Hang on, I got I got a target on that a minute ago, just a sec. There we go. How dare you? I, Ariel Anderson, Queen of the Cold Winds of Winter and the Ice Palace, 
do solemnly swear that you won't get away with this. I seem to have a bit of a shiver going My on. My mobile castle is already en route to your camp. Prepare to be defeated. So I'm going to guess that this is a return to camp. And uh, attacker at base. Okay. Is there anything here that we can do? Oh, there's a hidden chest. Is this something that opens up? Can we then go down? I wonder if we can go down here later after we've defeated her. Come on, dig up. I've just eaten, I think I've just eaten some porridge by mistake. I can't dig this one. I can't, I can't get this one. I don't know why. I'm whacking the five key. Five? Oh, there we go. Okay. We found it. I think I just had to be stood on a different pixel to where the chest was showing. Hey, Tipo. How's it going? Metal beam, bandages, bullet scraps, arrows. Okay. Okay, so... I need to... I've got... I've, I've got a... Yeah, I've got a flamethrower in my inventory I'm thinking that might be a relevant weapon against a mobile ice palace but we'll have to see it might not make any difference whatsoever so we're going back to base I don't I don't want that I don't want that I want to interact with this thing thank you very much oh sign have we already had a fight up there we must have had a fight up there I don't remember what it was though Was it a bear? Maybe it was a snowy bear. I don't remember it. Oh, that was Kong. Ah, thank you, Lee. Yes, I do remember Donkey Kong. Yeah. Wow, it feels like a long time ago since last week when I played that. Right, let's deposit some junk. Uh, let's see, what can we get rid of? A repair kit. I don't think I need them. I'm going to leave them here. There's a whole lot of stuff I don't think I need, actually. Um, a common machine gun? Okay. That wasn't supposed to still be with me, but never mind. Probably picked it up by mistake. We'll drop off 500 scrap. The batteries. The cans. The gas lighters. One of those. The, oh my god, I've got too much stuff. What else have I got? Tires, armor, bones, metal beams, more black powder. Don't need broken hacking helmets anymore. Oh, actually, that's not true. I might need some because I might need to actually resurrect some of the guys myself or capture new ones. So that's something I should probably be a little bit wary of getting rid of. Right, we good? Yes, weight's looking good. I have no idea what this fight's going to be like, so should we just summon her and find out? Worth melting for. Rocket attacked. Not yet it's not. Okay, we have multiple spawns on the way. Have I ventured into the volcano? I've found the entrance to it, but I haven't got in. Because I figured it was going to be like a red hot area, and I realised I'm not ready for there yet. As in, I had other stuff to do rather than it was going to be too hard or anything. Uh, yep. Oh, no. Oh, my God. We're getting exploder guys coming in here. Oh, that's not part of the plan. Wrong weapons, Mark. Wrong weapons. Retreat. Retreat back to base. Um, I'm going to need to have... Let's have a look. I'm going to have to have a melee weapon on here. All I've got is a... Oh, I've got is a fucking chainsaw. That wasn't part of the plan at all. I've been stiffed already. Oh, my God. I can't catch him. Come back. Actually, I can shoot these guys. Can I shoot these guys? 
No, I cannot. <laughs> I don't think I have the fuel on me to deal with all that. Okay, base defense is looking a little bit shaky. Can I shoot any of these, or are they all out wearing flipping anti-projectile armor? I can't see which is which, you know. Some of them I can definitely hit. Actually, if I fully aim, I think I can headshot them. We've got... What have we got? We've got... A wave of three coming in here. Let's see if we can head them off at the pass. Oh, this looks like a bit more than a wave of three to me. So those ones, even with the anti-projectile armor on, we can still take them out if we fully aim and get a headshot. Interesting. I don't seem to be able to hit these guys at all. Get out of it. This is still only a stage two. The building in camp is damaged. Yeah, no shit. That's mine. They're getting quite far into this. Hmm. Now we know what's coming. I think I'd definitely, I'd definitely equip my zombies differently for this fight. Will you not just leave me alone? Just snipe, please. Where are these guys at? I can't see. You guys are hard work today. He's on the other side. Is he? Is he on the other side? How did he get in there? Level up is always nice. Right, so the base is falling apart. Don't think you can repair between waves, can you? I mean, this side's looking okay. I think, oh, these are mine droppers. Okay, this is going to be a problem. haven't made it through to the um you know what this side didn't seem too bad i'm gonna go and check on the other side do you know what it was it was a, it was a it was a damn mistake putting that chainsaw on let me get my shotgun back on in place of that that's the only thing i think i can clean these guys out with and they are chewing through now Where the hell are they? There we go. Hmm. This is most bad. Come on, reload faster. This one stood there, seemingly immortal. The rocket's bad. The rocket's bad. What's going on the rocket? It's playing like the Home Alone theme or something. There's a bomb there. I'm going to pretend that's not there. Can we not? Can we repair? No. Damn it. We have another wave to deal with. At least the traps are working again. Some of the traps are working again.
Wow, give me a break for a minute. Okay. Oh god, this is is this This isn't even the final wave. Right, let's check out the other side. It's kind of holding. Hey, Dimmy, how are you doing? I don't know if this game would interest you at all. Did you see me playing it last week or the week before? I've been on with this a little while now. We're approaching the end of the game, I, I suspect. This is some mad boss fight section with. Although the boss hasn't appeared yet. Come on. Come on, gun. Uh, the rocket pad is going down. Thank God for shotguns. Are we... Are we on this? It's okay. It's okay. The only stuff getting damaged is the entrance to the base. Not seen this one before. It is interesting, yeah, it's a it's a zombie apocalypse game where you can actually control the zombies and recruit them. Hang on, I need to bandage urgently. Whew. And now that was just the that was just the preliminary. I've not seen this thing before. You would think a flamethrower would work well against um, an ice castle. I your home as you did with my kingdom that is war. i'm gonna i'm gonna trust to my old tactics of just using the rifle on this thing and see if this works set some of your zombies to repair i would have done that but i didn't have enough power to do all the base defenses and the zombie repair kits before which is why i i didn't do it right she's over there let's go and intercept her It doesn't help that the weather conditions have suddenly worsened. I'm now in a blizzard. I'm trying to, I'm trying to sprint into this blizzard and I can't move. And that is wholly annoying. <laughs> Here she comes. Well, I'm able to shoot some things then. That's nice. It's similar to before then. We have to shoot the different aspects of whatever she's got on this castle thing. Well, interesting. That's that's not the most interesting mechanic I've ever seen. But, I mean, it's early days yet. It's not over, so... So there's obviously some... Let me get behind her. Oh, I can't catch her up. There, there's, there's this thing to shoot off. Oh, it's spun round. Curses. There, get it, get it. Cheeky! She's got a wiggle on there. Is that it? Looks like this vehicle had a rocket part. Grab it quickly. That was so easy compared to the base defense I got the mountain wolf armor chest I'll take that who was that mad woman who thought she was a queen we've got enough to deal with from the zombies there's no need 18 to make and 5 enemies. 35 and 20 yes I'll take that nice some more armor and some cold resistance so I didn't expect that I thought the fight against the machine was going to be the tough bit there just no immune spots that was that was stupidly easy compared to the attack on the base. But it's nice to see, A, that the defences did just hold, but it's nice to see a bit more of a challenge on the base attack, so... Yeah, that, that was pretty good. Let's go and repair the place now. Might be an expensive repair. Ah, uh, 207, that's not too bad. I like the fact that you can just repair the entire camp, it just puts it all back without you having to rebuild things. That's really nice. So we also leveled up in there, didn't we? Let's go and spend a skill point we were doing. We've done that. We were going to do the survival stuff. 
Right, okay, so I was going to the next level. I wanted... Uh, no, there's a speed. There's maximum weight, which I don't think matters. Decoy. Where's the speed one? I could take the health. It's up there, so I need... Minus 10% sprint stamina cost. I guess that's not too bad. To get to Hiker, which is what I'm going for. Hmm, it's not the most exciting. I'll, I'll take it anyway. Right, cool. Nice. Another one done. Do you think... Actually, you guys can tell me. Save me travelling all the way back there. Will that have opened up that new area to explore in the back of the Ice Palace? This is, God, it's a long way away. It does say go there. Actually, no, it says go there right now. So there we go. We've got, we've got the quest for it. Off we go. Oh, wait, hang on. Before I do that, let me just go and upgrade our rocket. Ah, there's a... <laughs> there was a landmine there. One of the zombies managed to drop a landmine right at the base. I did see it earlier, and I said I don't want to go and accidentally trigger that. <laughs> Figured it would destroy, of course, when the, the base attack was over. So this is the launch pad. Oh no, it's the capsule on the end. There's nothing else to do, is it? Oh, we need a rocket tip now. Am I supposed to fit in that? I can't see me fitting in that. I'm going to have to slim down. I'm going to have to go on a cut for three months before trying to launch off the planet. Okay, let's... Um, I don't want to be down here, do I? I want to travel. I want to fast travel. I'm, I'm thinking of removing those axe traps if there's any more base things to do. And replacing them just with more of those like chainsaw traps and fire traps because they seem to be more effective. That was good though. I enjoyed that. Right, let's see what we've got in here. Oh, is this this is this is ours now? Or at least these are friendly now. Oh, are these now Kate's? I think these are Kate's, aren't they? This is her base. Yep, here she is. Well, did the lovely Ariel cause you any problems? As you can see, I took the liberty of moving in while waiting for you. Thanks for your help. Your efforts were much appreciated, even if they were a bit amateurish, let's be honest. In this fortress, I've nothing to fear from zombies or half-wits like yourself. Rude. I just need you to disappear so I can live in peace. So if you don't mind, my tea is getting cold. What? You are kidding me. Is that like a Kaiser Sose ending? Oh god, it's a trap. It's a trap. Stop them. There's too many of them. Oh, hang on. Let's let's start destroying those things. Let's try and keep these things back a bit. Escape the ice palace. Screw that. I'm going to trash the ice palace. Come on. Right, is there anything hidden at the back over here? Because there could be... This is a whole new base. Oops. Spearmen, help! My guys are busy hacking a flipping wall to bits. They don't seem to be able to get through this. Actually, do we have any... Hyperfreeze, okay. I need to go and see what that is. Oh, that might be to keep me cold in the volcano area. 
Hey, a zombie. How's it going? Right, guys. Come on over here. Leave. Leave that alone. We don't need whatever is in there. Let me see what the hyperfreeze one does. I think it's to keep me cold, right? Which one is it? That one? Anti-heat gear. Yeah. I thought it would be. So that's for the volcano area. I'm glad I... Did. I was going to just run out of this. I'm glad I actually stopped and picked some stuff up. Wow, how many zombies? Oh, not good. <laughs> not good. Help. It's not the time to get killed. Right, is there anything around here to actually pick up? Keep getting frozen. More of the hyper freeze. Oh, let's kill this. Do I want to... I feel like there should be a chest around here somewhere. Stand still. Guys, come here. Come here. Leave the bad things alone. They should reappear on me in a second. Actually, we're not freezing too badly here. Although my cold resistance gear might be making a difference. Are you coming? There we go. What is that he's throwing at me? That looked like a freezy bomb, was it? Oh, God. Dead. No, I got screwed over. The guys with guns got me there. I don't know where my zombies were. They'd run off. 404,000 XP lost. I'm going to go get that back. If we see. This is one of the cool things about this game, Dimmy. There is actually an evil mark now spawned as a zombie on this map. And I need to go and kill him to get that lost XP back. Wait, then that's one of my guys? Okay. Evil Mark for the win. Evil Mark is, is a nasty Mark. I can't see who's who anymore. Everything's just a blur. Come on, stop hiding behind that thing so I can kill you. Guys, one of mine. Okay, evil mark is just up there. So we're not actually in the base yet. There he is. You see him? I see him. There we go. We got all our XP back. I didn't know that was a thing at the start of the game. I probably lost a lot of experience by not going back. The game's playing jingle bells at me. I think you can hear it under the, the rock beat. It like plays it on the triangle. It's it is awesome, but it, it feels oddly too joyous and festive for the stuff that's going on. I'm gonna have another look down here because I feel like this this should have opened up. No, don't you just feel like that should be a thing? It looks like it's part of the game. We should go down there and activate whatever that is down there. Right, is there anything else? There's maybe nothing else in this area. I thought there'd be a chest, but perhaps there isn't. Perhaps there is, actually. I just hadn't looked. It's 
snowy mountain armor chest. Well, actually, we've got something better than that now. Always annoying when it drops something that you've you've got a better version of. Where'd you come from? I thought we'd killed everything around here. Dig up truffles. Okay, I'm going to have to go and read the quest description for that one. Let's scrap all that. Uh, quests. Dig up truffles. He wants you to celebrate your victory over Ivy Uppersmith with a feast. Prepare the main course, a Christmas truffle goose. Well, unless truffles grow in the volcano area, I honestly don't know where to find them. There's, there's nothing I can see on the map. Dark Urge mark next. I should probably play Baldur's Gate 3 with Dark Urge. I should do it at some point. I'm not getting anything on the map to give me an idea of where these quests... Oh, hang on. That's going to that's gone talk to someone, right? Oh, it's returned to Jeff. Okay, we'll return to Jeff. We will go... I think there's... There's one near there. Dimmy, are you still there in chat at the moment? I wondered if you were going to play like Dragon's Dogma when it comes out in the very near future. I forget the release date. I, I think it's... so. Is it, is it the 24th? 23rd, 24th of March? I have a feeling it's like... Um, Imminent. Well, let's go and have a word with Jeff Tusk. Touch to Earth. Is the rocket still not finished? Less cooking, more exploring. Oh, hopefully the rocket pad is still intact. If you ever want to get to H2 and get it over with, you need this last piece. I'll contact Mr. X again. He hinted that he knew where there's another rocket piece. So I'll ask him what his conditions are for giving us its location. Let's hope he doesn't get greedy in the negotiations. I'll let you know what his requests are. Cook the requested meal, pate on croute. I don't think I can make that. I don't remember hearing a recipe for that, ever. Am I going the right way here? Yes. Well, we can definitely change the gear out. Oh, here's the destroyed tank. There's nothing in there. Nope, nothing there to loot. She wasn't far away from my base, was she? Right, let's go check out the kitchen. And see if this is doable. I, I haven't paid much attention to the cooking, to be quite honest. Here it is. It requires... It requires chili peppers, and I used all the chili peppers to craft some flipping something else. Oh, this is Christmas truffle goose. And where do we get truffles from? These fungi grow underground at the foot of certain trees. Am I supposed to just go digging up around trees? I have no idea where to get truffles. Could I grow chilies? I don't think I can grow chilies. I don't remember seeing the chili seeds. I remember seeing all the others. Yeah. Tomato seeds, carrot plants, and potato plants. I know where to find them. I guess we just go get them. So we're going into the desert. So let me put this onto. Where's the fogger? Also. Let me have a look at the armor in camp, because if we're going somewhere hot, 
we don't want the uh, really hot armor on, do we? So what I need, I don't want the snowy mountain chest armor. It's a shame that didn't also give. Is that not what I've got? Oh, well, either way, it's not needed now. It's always a shame when you get the best stuff for an area just as you finish that area and then never need to go back. So what I do need is, it's the it's not swamp, is it canyon armor? That's warehouse armor, chemical plant armor, swamp, warehouse, warehouse. Do you know what? Screw it. I'm going to keep the good armor that I've got and I am going to wear... I'm just going to use these foggers. It's got cold resistance. That doesn't mean to say it's going to keep me too hot. It doesn't say weakness to heat or increases anything. It's not like an insulation value, it just resists cold. So I should be okay running around in the volcano in some goat skin fur leggings, I think. Uh, so let's go and find out if this theory works or whether I'm way off with this. We need to go to the canyon. That's the volcano entrance. Entrance to Papa Davis's camp. I think it's around here. I think it's around here. I think anywhere in the desert there's a chance for chilies to uh, to appear. Insulation also works against heat. It can do. It depends where the heat source is coming from, of course. Because um, someone tried to sell us a wool duvet. In fact, we got a free trial of this thing. Uh, it's from my daughter. Who, one of my daughters doesn't gets too hot in summer, and her room is is hot in summer. It gets a lot of the heat. And uh, they said, "Oh yeah, the way it works is it keeps you cool in winter, and it keeps you warm in winter rather, because it insulates, keeps the heat in. But it also keeps you cool in summer because it keeps the heat out. Well, if the heat source is under the duvet, i.e., you, it's going to keep that heat in. And so obviously, it was roasting hot, as you'd expect a thick wool-filled duvet to be." So anyway, we sent that back. But yeah, you're right. Insulation can work um, against heat as well. But you don't see many desert explorers going around in seal skin <laughs> legs and, uh, and and buffalo capes and stuff. And there's probably a good reason for that. Yeah, it doesn't hotter if you work. It doesn't work if you're hotter than ambient. Am I going the right way? I think I am. The problem is. I don't actually know where to go for this. It's desert area I need. I'll try, I'll try this area. This looks a little bit too... Oh no, 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 this could be right. Please tell me that's a chilli plant. It's not, is it? I got, yes, I got overexcited by those before. Yeah, it could be. This, this is the sort of area we could find them. There's one. Two chili peppers, excellent. Do you know it's actually it's actually I can't guys can you give me some space? I might find some up here. We've got cactus flowers. So, it could be some more in this area. Starting your playthrough this weekend. Of this one, um, Tomby, I hope you enjoy it. I, I've enjoyed it, and I don't know what's coming at the end yet. I've had no spoilers for this, which is, which is quite nice. And not as in, like, story spoilers and stuff. How I many people have told me where to go to look for things when I've been absolutely lost, which I, I appreciate stuff like that. But, um, yeah, it's still going to be a bit of a mystery. I don't think I need to go in there. We'll leave that alone. That looks unpleasant in there. No point taunting that far away. Damn zombies. Okay, let's, let's take a guess. I'm going to get mauled by a rabid llama, apparently. Uh, 
So this looks like the area where we could get chilies growing. Let's get that cactus plant. Can't remember what we use them for, but I collect everything in these sort of games. There's no doubt someone's going to ask you for one later. Some cheeky sods. Activate the trap. They can get him. Oh, he's got one of the things to stop him being targeted as well. That's just rude. Oh well, Fred will get him with a chainsaw. Can't outdance a chainsaw. So we want. Ah, there we go. Sorted. We've got the chili peppers that we need. And there's a fast travel back out of this place. So I could possibly go looking for some more. Oh, there's some there. I ran right past them. There we go. We're done then. We're done. Let's let's take what we've got and leave. God, the music's good in this. It's just fun. It's, they get it right for every area. I actually have a feeling we're coming back here afterwards. So I need to go and cook this stuff. And then I think I need to throw it down the chute and send it over to, to Jeff. And I think we're done. So I need pate on fruit. It gives a lot of heals per second, but slows the roll distance down. I mean, that's that's awesome heals per second, actually. Wait, I thought I created two. Maybe one's classed as a quest item and I can't do anything else with it. Possibly. That's fine then. Okay. We're going to here. And then the volcano. Actually, we're doing okay on this for time today. I was a little bit concerned that that... <laughs> Is that everyone? Are you done? I was a little bit concerned it was going to take us ages to do them snowman. Updated rocket park coordinates. Go into the volcano. Right. Last zone of the map. We'll stop off at Alfred and hand him in those Twinkies. We might get some XP for. And then we'll do the uh, the final bit. Actually, I suspect there's going to be another base defense quest to come yet. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Twink! It's it's not sexual. I promise you. It sounds like oh, it is, yeah. but it's it's not. Oh yeah! Tw well, I mean, I, I assume he's eating the Twinkies and not shoving them somewhere. Right then, off we go. Volcano land. It doesn't look as big as the others. This might be misleading because there might be some underground parts or caves or stuff. But I, I do feel like we should be approaching the end of this now. Let's see if I cook myself alive going in here. Very hot area. Wait, did that say level 20 to 30? No, 45 to 50. Okay, oh, 20 to 30 was the canyon area. Let's see... This is getting hot very fast. Oh, I've got the wrong. Yep. Got the wrong armor on there. Guys. Guys. Yeah, the fog is not going to work in that. We need the hyper freeze. Right, let's try that again. And I... Do I still have my cactus juice? Yes, I do. Okay, because that's got some heat resistance. That's an... Imp oh, an improved bandage. I've been forgetting about those. 
Do we have anything? We've got spicy llama. Oh, cold resistance. What possible use is that now? And stew. Stew's got heat resistance. Uh, let's drag that on in place of... Oh, I don't know. I, I know. I'll use my... I'll use my cactus juice up first if this is a problem. Let's see how this, this goes. As long as I stay with the zombies, I'm okay. If I wander out of the zombie zone, that rises very, very fast. So yeah, well, let's let's take a cactus juice. How long does it last for? A while. I'll have to see if... Um... Okay, well, we're at the, con at the, at the place. Do we have a safe house here? I'm guessing... This is, this is the cool bit. This is it. Look at the map, right? Look at our... They've, they've drawn a base in the shape of an Among Us character. <laughs> I think that's brilliant. I, I think that's the star part of the game right there. There's two chests in there. Can I shoot through this? I mean, I think this is a friendly base, but regardless, I'm going in. I have upset people massively. Okay, I did not... I should have maybe seen that coming. Oh, volcano armor, right. So we're getting new armor for this. Excellent. Get out of there, I can't see a damn thing. We do not need a flamethrower in the volcano, thank you very much. Yeah, at this point, I'm, I'm wondering if, like, having melee zombies is a mistake. When I need to keep cool. Are we good? Keep with him, keep with him. I don't know where you guys are all coming from. Come on. Zombies, come with me. That is one of mine. I'm trying to shoot one of my own there. Right, is there Are there any more? Or are we are we good? Let's go and loot this. I'm cooking, help! In fact, I seriously am cooking. Where's my guys at? Where did all those zombies come from in here? There was loads. They just appeared here. Is there anywhere to... Do we have to go through this? There might be some new zombie armor to get from here. Is there a way through one of these? No. I don't think there's anything to get in them, so I don't think it's a problem. Right. Clearly, I need to put the new volcano army on. Army. Armor. Left leg. Equip. That's a little bit of heat resistance. And that's canyon armor. Oh, okay. Well, I'm going to go with the heat resistance anyway, because I think it's going to be a good thing. But the volcano stuff is is clearly what we need. Right, where do these guys keep running in from? Guys, come with me. Stop it. Stop digging holes. Right, let's just take a moment here, just to... Uh, to re-equip and reassess. Uh, overloaded still. I should probably drop some stuff. The spicy llama. Let's just use it. It's a shame you can't send things back to base from here. Right, so we are looking for... Find the rocket piece. Dig close to the solar panels. We will go... I think we'll go north first. Let's go north. 
I must be carrying some really heavy shit here. Hang on. A load of spears, which we don't need. A rare... Oh, I, I kind of need that one. A common mace we can get rid of, and that. Are we Are we good now? Uh, the snowy mountain, and yeah, I will, I'll keep the snowy mountain armor in case we do go back to the cold, but I don't think we will. Something to dig up there. This looks like it's going to get awfully hot in there. Ouch! Dead. Dead! Okay. That's interesting. That was like just, um, I guess the floor is lava. I couldn't get out of the damn stuff <laughs> once I was in. It's a little bit brutal. Right, is there an evil mark up here where I can get my experience back? Is there? There is not. Unless I just killed him because I wasn't watching. I'm, I may have done. So we can assume that we can't go walking in that. Ah, hang on a minute though. What if I go, what if I do this? I thought those guys might freeze it with them, with that stuff they've got on. So, all right, that's, that's not a thing. Interesting. Maybe we just need to go around that bit then. Can we get through here? This would be, that would be so much easier with a chainsaw, but screw it. Let's just go around. I killed Evil Mark, good. I, I, he, he often looks like just one of the other zombies. He blends right in. I will take another cactus juice, I think. Well, we're not going across there, clearly. This is... Oh, hang on. I know what we do. I know what we do. I'll go back to the original plan. We're going north. I, I have figured it out. I'm not going to say what I've figured out in case it turns out that it's wrong. We'll soon find out. Right then, zombie number two, you need to have the saddle. Where's zombie number two? And... It works! I can't dig like this, unsurprisingly. I could probably assign one of those... Oh, I could assign one of those guys too, couldn't I? Hang on. Let's just come out with this a minute. Zombie number one gets the pickaxe. Uh, where's the pickaxe? And we'll collect and use out of combat. Is he going to go and dig it over for me? He collected something else. Hang on. Go and dig that up. Will he not dig it up? Hmm. They're slowly dying. This, this isn't the greatest of ideas. Uh, okay. If he doesn't want to use that, what about... Take, take collect off? Will he go? He's not. Okay. Right, screw that then. It didn't seem to work. Uh, let's give him... What was he what was he using before? He's using the mace, I think. I'm gonna give him claws. Because I think claws look fun. Right, I feel I feel like we need to get across that pretty quick. I like how these guys are just getting out of there. Oh wait, she lives? Hang on, hang on, I need to get off. <laughs> Is this? Yeah, this is okay. It's, it's safe here. 
we're safe. We're safe. We're good. Interesting area. I hadn't expected anything quite like this. Why did I have that selected? Ow! Where'd you come from? Guys with boosters and flipping maces, that's that's just that's cheating. How do we get in there then? There, we can go for this door here. This is the one. Go on, attack that, guys. Right, more volcano armor, please? Yeah. Of course, if it turns out that it's the same flipping leg as before, we're not really any better off. Take a look though. We have. Oh, you're joking. It's the same leg. This really annoys me. I know it's random drop chance and all this stuff. Why is it always that you randomly get the same stuff that you've already got? Okay, so we need to go and get this place here. Actually, this one looks like a dead end here. I'm going to go up this bit because I don't think it joins up. Looking at the map, it looked like it didn't join up fully. Was that true? Nope, that was utter nonsense. It looked like there was a line between the two, but that's fine. That's okay, we can work with this. Oh, wow. When when did my health go so low? Um, oh, it's him. It's this, it's this asshole running off. Come here. Come here. Right. Let me go and put... I don't need the saddle for the time being, so I'm putting the hyperfreeze back on. So I've got two people trying to keep me cool here. That's nasty. Yeah, thanks, guys. I nearly missed that that I was dying. Hi, Raga. How's it going? So we're going to go around the corner and check out this place. Yeah, a melee build for the zombies suddenly feels like a, a bad move here. I end up dying as they they rush off to meet everyone and they're not keeping me cool anymore. That looks like a chest. Is it a frozen chest? That's nothing. Um, I don't think I can dig around this, can I? No? So I don't know what that is. Very curious, though. Anything new to pick up? Nah. What's this thing? A research station. Oh, it says dig around the solar panels, doesn't it? What's that? We have scrap. Back beasts, back into the night. I'm guessing that's not something to go walking across. So I need to... It just says dig close to the solar panel. I'll try it again in case there's... Mind you, I dug up some scrap, so it's probably... Not, that's going to be it, isn't it? Okay. So it's going to be random. We just have to try digging at all the solar panels until we find the right bit. So I guess we will go... I don't feel like I want to go charging in there just yet. Maybe I do? Maybe I do. Hey, Catherine. Nice to see you. Right, 
up, it's done. So I'm guessing this is what Iceland looks like at the moment. By the way, if anyone's watching from Iceland, I hope that uh, you're all safe and sound and away from any nasty, angry volcanoes. Why do they all look like they're going to suddenly wake up and attack me? Ah, that chap following me. He's not actually fighting, and the reason is I haven't changed his orders back since putting those on. So use in combat and not out of combat. And you can actually you can actually come and heal me out of combat. Like that. Thank you very much. Are these worth picking up? Probably not. Black powder, scrap and cloth. Well, I mean, I guess it's useful. Let's go this way around. Town official used a town radio and he had epileptic problems and headaches for the last days. What was that from? From the, from the radio waves? Some old lady yeah, took the car from the garage and gave me a ride to home. Wow, that's... That sounds grim. I hope uh, I hope everything's okay. I thought that was like one weird looking zombie there. Turned out to be two. Right, let's trigger all that. I think there's some more upgrades for these weapons yet. I don't think we're at the top level of of guns, so it'd be nice if we got something new around here. These things, I've never... I've seen them lying around often. I don't know what to do with them. It doesn't dig anything up. Hmm. That is curious. Let's go north. Right, I think this is just an area to dig up, right? Like the back of your hand, discover 85 points of interest. I forget what I'm even looking for here. It's a rocket part, isn't it? Buried near some solar panels. Um, why have they got this bit on? Okay, that's why they've got this bit on. Brutality, I see. I like that hyper-freeze effect. It freezes all the zombies. That's Oh, they use it too? Okay. Hyper-freeze. I better start um, dropping some stuff. What is this? A load of common claws. What have we got? We've got more volcano armor left leg. I am desperately trying to get the volcano armor here. And I have three pieces of left leg volcano armor. That is just so annoying. I need the other stuff. Have we got no... Are, you, are we seriously don't have any extra scrap? Okay, I have a lot of... A lot of stuff that I don't... I don't need 12 of those. Let's Let's throw them away, actually. Try and get this weight down a little bit. An old boomerang. Damaged mace. There we go. I can probably throw away a load of flipping tires as well. A load of uh, left leg armor. It's so annoying. I know. It doesn't, it doesn't give me... I don't get lucky with the drops in this at all. <sighs> Never mind. By the time we no longer need it, I'm sure we will have the full set. <laughs> 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 
grim looking zombies up here. Well, are we going into the base now? I guess it's as good a time as any, right? Oh. If we're going into the base, we're going across the lava to do it. Yeah, let's do it. Let's 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 do it. Let's fail miserably, but have fun in the meantime. So, claws guy, you need a saddle on. It's a shame you can't have a saddle and the freezy thing. Well, we're in, so that's the main thing. Let's let's go this way. Actually, is there anything new there? A mechanical arm. I think we have all that, don't we? Yeah. Right. Zombies with me. Actually, zombies with me now. Because otherwise, hang on. We can. We're going to turn that um, turn that off again. Where is it? Come on. Have I got someone hitting me? No? No, we're okay. Yeah, I know. It's hard to throw away loot. I, I do. It, it's, it's so painful to throw it away, but we can't carry it all, sadly. Kill these guys. Don't make me go and equip a melee weapon. Where are those guys coming from up there? Guys, come this way. Come this way now. I don't want you to attack. I don't even know if I'm shooting anything here. There's just a lot of zombies making a hell of a lot of noise. Oh, that is so annoying. Right, hang on. Right, somebody somebody go get him. I'm going to have to equip a melee weapon for this. I, I, can't, I can't deal with this. The chainsaw, I'm going to go for the boomerang. And the shotgun. Take, take it off, take off the shotgun, I think. Right, let's get rid of that. Won't let me aim at this. Have we got someone running around in there? They're, they're all, everyone's dead, right? We can't go through there. We, we could if we blew the walls down. Help! Help! It's getting hot. I hadn't seen that thing there. It's getting hot. Help, help, help. I'm just going to start slashing things with a melee boomerang now. I'm always curious about the buildings in these camps. They don't seem to do anything at all. They have no purpose other than decoration. You can destroy them. It doesn't seem to matter. I'm getting, I'm getting slayed. Where's the, where's the cold thing at? Guys, what is going on here? Is it this sodding? Oh God, one of the cold dudes is. How have they got through the wall? I can't, I can't go with the Help. That was, that was very, very scary. 
The thing that's most likely to kill me is the heat stroke from this place. Right, let's make sure that's on. Somebody's dying, and I can't see who... And, oh, they're in there. Okay. We might just have to just accept that they're going to die, then. My, I'm getting, I'm getting too hot over there. Is there a... Oh, hang on, there's a generator here. Right, let's get rid of that. I can't see what the hell is going on. I mean, I can, I just have all the hit bars from the um, the walls as well. Did we get the guy who keeps on sounding that sodding trumpet? I think, I think we did. I think we're actually okay at that point. Right, let's see what's in the chest. Left leg armor. No, I've got the head armor. Nice. Okay, that's actually a, an upgrade. Thank God for that heat resistance. This might. This might actually help. It's a lot more armor protection. It actually looks really cool as well. And hopefully that's going to help with the heat resistance. That was mad. Absolutely mad. So this is the other side of this place. There's still a zombie down here. Is that the last one? Oh, here we go. Help. Guys. They're not listening. Can't I can't type it. Hang on. It's it's really awkward. It's it's really as soon as I press the trigger, it no longer targets that thing. It's a bit wonky as some of the targeting in the game. It's not enough of a problem to worry about though. Right, let's dig around here. The rocket tip. It was always gonna be in here, wasn't it? Because this was the big heavily defended base. Can we just blast our way out from this? Actually, let me have a look on the map. Is this... Is this in the shape of something else? I don't think it is. There's something over here. That looks... I'm going to go check out what that is. Appreciate the comment. I can't read what the comment is, but uh, if we can have only English in the chat, please, that would be awesome, just so everyone else can read it too. Let's go and take a look over there. I need a zombie with saddle on again. Uh, where is the one? Okay, this, this, there we go. I thought it was going to be impossible to actually make this out. Yay! There's going to be a huge explosion in a moment. Right, where's my, where's my riding zombie? He's run off. I demand he comes back. Come here. Come here. Can't get the stuff. You can't. Whee! Yeah. Let's make sure we blow that up first. Preferred minions from Overlord 2? They're destroying stuff in more funny ways. Yes, the minions here are slightly annoying some of the times. That You can't always get them to do what you want. Volcano armor, left leg. This is taking the piss now. I have four left leg volcano armor pieces. We have to raise an army of one-legged zombies with only left legs. So we get more left leg stuff. Can we, we can't disassemble it. I may as well destroy it. And then there's the, the left arm, which we can at least equip. So there's that. Perhaps there are only left legs. I've got left legs and heads, and now an arm piece. So it is slowly helping with this. Where's my way out? That was worth coming across for. I do wonder... What was that? Explosives? It says explosives, but I just get scrap. That's a shame. I could loot all this stuff. <laughs> I don't think I will. Let's leave. Uh, guys? 
Come back here. I need to. You need to keep me cool. Didn't realise I was so fast on zombie back. Right then, are we ready? Let's group up. My <laughs> poor zombies getting burnt alive going across there. Right, where are we? So we need to go back and around. I'm going to go and get these waypoints while we're here. Better to use bows and arrows with the skill points maxed out. Bows and arrows can easily deal with more monsters. And I'm stuck here. I can't go up to the front. What? Uh, the bow is... I've, I have actually... What's the level of bow that I've got? I should have a bow with us. It's 43. So it's similar. Um, I haven't... Yeah. It didn't seem that good to me compared to the single shot rifle. Oh, we need to go... We need to ride back across there, do we? Ah, right. Okay. Well... I actually haven't taken his saddle off him, so we can do that. Yeah, I got okay results with the bow, and I've got the skills maxed out for it. But it, it didn't seem epic, but we'll give it another try. Even with the better arrows, it didn't seem that great. Oh, God, there's loads of these things. And I think, oh, the reload speed was a problem. Oh, God. Uh, hello, help. Actually, there's no problem with the reload speed of that. I was using some different arrows for... Maybe they've patched it. But it was the crossbow, I think, I was using. And it um, it didn't really work out that well. That works fine. Uh, the rifle works really well, though, at maximum range. If you can get the enemies right on the edge of the screen for range... You get a huge stealth bonus to the damage because they're technically out of their view range and they can't see you. And I don't know if it's supposed to work as that is intended, but that's how it works. And it's it's superior. It's it's just awesomely good. Um, but I I don't know. They 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 might fix that one way or the other. See that does that actually works quite well too. It's interesting. I don't always get the two arrows going off. I feel like I should. They can't keep up with me. I'm too fast. Can we go across here? Oh, nice. I got shot in the face. Um, I will take some of that metal, actually. A lot of noise going off somewhere. The only other thing with using a bow is that you do, I feel like I have to pick up all the arrows. And that often means just spamming the, the pick up stuff as I'm running around. Which results in me getting massively overloaded really quick. Then what else is new? Been overloaded in every game I've played in recent times. Who? Oh, okay. Bow should be able to deal with those guys quite well. Oh, God, I've picked up a mace. I don't want a mace. I am smoking hot here. Oi, come here. Come here now. Now, 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 now. Come here. God damn. This, the staff. The staff are awful. Right, what was I going to do? I was going to maybe switch the... I was definitely going to scrap the junk. And throw the other one away. Because it's too heavy. Um... I'll keep that for later. Uh, I'm, I'm still sort of thinking about it. Put the shotgun back on. It's a nice combo, is this? Let's have a little look. Whoa. 
we found the nest. That's why I like the shotguns for those. I'm not going the right way. I just, I'm just advancing into an awesome fight here. I'm enjoying this. Who could not enjoy this? I'll let them finish that off. We've got an old tire and a gas lighter. There is a solar panel here. I might as well dig. We'll get some scrap, I think. Nothing. No, the quest is over now. Oh, maybe I dug there already once before. Have I been... Yeah, no, I don't think I've been here, actually. Oh, level up available. Ah, thank you. I missed that. Let's go for... Let's go for... Is it going to be another chicken? Sprint stamina cost. I need both of those to get the hiker. And it was the speed I wanted. The decoy. Allows you to make and use decoys. I don't think that's going to be much fun. Yeah, I have a feeling the health stuff is actually going to be the most useful things to pick up in here. Geothermal well. Surely that could power my base multiple times over. It says finish building your rocket. Uh, we have... No, nope, I'm going to go and get Tusk's laboratory on. And we're going to travel back to base from there. I have no idea where we're digging up truffles. The game's not giving me any hints as to that. Unless I just randomly dig at the base of trees. You have the entire army now. It's quite nice, isn't it? Can we scramble up there? We cannot. Oh, hang on. What I could probably do is... Where's the where's the ride guy? So if I come and line up like this and then just... Uh, no, actually that doesn't work. Interesting. Okay. We're going to go back to base. We're going to build the rocket. And then see what happens next. We're going to go all the way back. I think we've finished all the other areas. Build a rocket, see where we go. Should I dump some stuff off in here? Probably should. Uh, let's see, what do we not need? Hordes. Absolutely hordes of crap. There's things that I, I don't think I've got built, actually. Let's go on the armor. I can leave all this armor behind. Do you know what? That, that'll do. Let's just make sure I can't upgrade anything in, anymore. Uh, let's, let's go for the epic. I'm not... Oh, I can actually craft the epic rifle, but I can't use it yet because I'm too low a level. That's really annoying. Should we do a couple of base attacks and see if I could level up so I could craft that and then go out into the wild with it? And we don't have a recipe for a better shotgun. Well, we might technically get the recipe if I do the base defenses. We do have, and I can craft, the legendary composite crossbow. That was a thing that I thought was too slow I thought that was far too slow to actually upload. I didn't like that. We have we have the bow. We don't have a better version of that. Okay, let's let's do a base defense. I'll tell you what. Let's assemble a rocket first and see Did what happens. Did you see next. all those zombies? I told you they'd be back. We've got to clean house, reinforce the defenses, and lure them in. Complete the rocket's construction. Charge the rocket. Charge the rocket's batteries. Initiate the launch sequence. Charge the rocket. Launch... What?
Is it? Is it telling us we can launch now? Uh, let me just take a look at the quest for this. That's what it says. It says initiate the launch sequence. I want to do a base defense. Let's let's do a base defense first. Because I want to see a, if I can get a recipe for a better weapon, and also just how much experience we get off one of these. So I'm going to ride out to meet them in my fancy volcano arm. It's not finished. Yeah, I have zombies with the wrong gear on as well, which doesn't help. Oh, we've got zombie goats as well. I feel like on these attacks, I could probably leave my base to deal with most of it. And we'd be absolutely fine. Ooh, what was that? I feel like a fly or something just landed on me. What? Oh, sorry, I clicked outside the screen. That was an abrupt stop. Why is there nobody on the traps? We got problems over there. Oh, we've got mad geese. Still only on stage one here. Oh, hang on, I've lost a chat room though, I'll get that back in a second. In fact, what we'll do is I'll just go and run and hide in here where I'm safe. And then just let's bring that back up. Sorry guys, I lost you for a moment there. That was a boss fight. I hope there's a boss fight to come when we, we set the rocket off. That would be good. I like the boss fights. The boss fights in this game are, are fun. Smack. Okay, have we got him? I wish I could saw these trees down. They're right in the way. Okay, stage one complete. How much XP will we get for finishing this? If it gets us up to level 47, fantastic. We can get our new rifle. Is the one guy stuck somewhere? It's taken a while to, to get to the next phase here. That normally happens when there's someone got stuck. Protect the shelter. Did somebody get through to the shelter? Oh, there's an animal got through. Okay. Mad things. There's two. How did they get in here? I guess they could have brute forced their way through the traps and survived it. Oh, not them. I hate them. I think everybody hates them. Do you know what? I'm just going to retreat inside my little fortress here. That's not working because the zombies aren't manning the defences. Come on, guys. Can I get on this, actually? 
There we go. Let's get that going. That should get them cleaned out a bit faster. Yep, that did in fact work as we're now instantly on to stage three. There's a load of stuff behind this fucking wall. Do you know what? I don't like these. I don't like the animal attacks. Let's get back into some defences. Dare say the bow would be good for this bit. I don't think the single zombie is going to be any risk whatsoever. Packs of animals might be. God, it's so good. The shotgun is just so much fun. Now it's leveled up a bit anyway. Oh god, I think I need to clean this out. Hang on, this this is a mess. Just a minute. Let me let me go behind here. Oh, there's our there's our big greenie. Will you aim at him, please? There we go. We've got the mythical machine gun blueprint. Did we have that new recipe? We did not. whole lot of killing going on over here. Same over here then, is there some more? Have we got it? There's one left somewhere. Is there one left? Did it get in? It might have got in. Yep, an animal managed to get in. Ow! Can't see it. Was that it, or is there another one somewhere? It suggests there's something else. There's another animal stuck somewhere. I can't see it around. Oh! It's in my shelter. It's attacking my shelter from the inside. There we go. Right, let's go and see what the mythical machine gun looks like. Because that was one I've... Like, I was curious to try. Purely because I like the machine gun, the way it feels and works, but it's not effective enough. So I'm hoping, I'm really hoping that this final one, I don't see an option for it here. Right, it must be in this somewhere. Is that it? The mythical machine gun. We got half a level from that. We could do another one. And then that would finish us off. I'm I'm really sorry. I I, I can't read um, I can't read that text. I, uh, I I could obviously copy into Google Translate, but that'll take a bit of a bit of time to do while I'm streaming. So uh, I do appreciate the comments. Um, I just I just can't read anything other than English in the chat, unfortunately. Okay, so we got that. That was nice. Let's do another one. I, this might get me to level... be awesome if this gets me to level 47. So let's take a look at this. We have the legendary composite crossbow. This is the new toy. Which I'm going to use in place of the rifle. Let's see how this works. It looks like it's got a lower magazine count for a start. Uh, let's, let's call them in. Attract the zombies.
could have called a boss in, I suppose. I suppose that might have been better. We could have done one of the boss fights, couldn't we? Right, stand around here. Oh, they're going straight to the other side. I see where they're going. Right, I'm not going to lie. That feels... That's the best automatic weapon so far by a mile. So many of the ones have been just, just rubbish. I mean, this wants to be good. It's, it's, the, it's the end game one. <laughs> yes, it's nice. Let's, let's go and deal with some scumbags over here, shall we? Yep, that's nice. I appreciate that. Whether it's better than using a bow is probably quite debatable. Sort of BAR feel? Yeah. A bit like the Browning Automatic Rifle. Does it have the look of that? I can't, I can't see from that. It doesn't have the look of that, but... Uh, it does feel a bit like that. It chews through the magazines quite quick. It still annoys me that the single shot rifle has um, a greater magazine capacity than the flipping machine gun. Okay, I don't think we need it for these things. What we need for these things is a shotgun still. These are the most annoying enemies in the game, I, I think. Not too bad to deal with here, but they are... Out in the wild, they are extremely annoying. Can't see. Are we getting him? I think we're getting him. Is there still one on there? Yeah. They're super annoying. They're hard to see. Can't always tell when they're on you. Stage three coming in already. Yeah, this is what I thought the machine gun would be good against. These poxy little deer things. This should level us up nicely. The fact that I've got like 3,000 rounds of ammunition is a very nice bonus for this. Just the rate of fire on this. I could I think this would be good against the boss fight actually. Good to that. Right weapon for the right job of course. That's what we wanted. Epic rifle coming in, and that's probably gonna be the end of the machine gun's use, because I bet the uh, epic rifle is better than the epic machine gun. Let's go back this way. Actually, I haven't seen the big fat dude. He should be in here somewhere. Where is he? Because somewhere there'll be a... If he's dead somewhere, there'll be an epic... Um, legendary item, you know, recipe to pick up. There he is. We're, we're good. The mythical rifle blueprint. Hang on, you said new recipe unlock. We we had that. We definitely had that, I'm sure. Did we not? Is that an even even higher level of epic rifle? We'll take a look.
Who's left? There's two, three guys over there. Let's go sort them out. So those combinations of shotgun and machine gun are chewing through my ammunition considerably faster. But that's okay. We're going to go and... Uh... Oops, wrong weapon. Actually, these guys are going to be caught together, aren't they? These deer. Camp saved. XP banked. Let's go and get sorted out. Now we're going to go and launch the rocket. Unless that's the end of the game, but I, I don't think it will be. So yeah, this, 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 this base turned out to be a pretty decent design. Quite functional. Okay, repair the camp. Craft the items. Should show up under here. We have, we have that one. Should be level 47. There is, there's a level 50. And we'll have the stuff to do. Do it instantly. DPS 2881 versus the machine gun, which is it's actually more DPS. Okay, this is probably going to be my go-to weapon once again, I suspect. It does kind of annoy me that there's, I feel like there's, it's nice to have a selection of weapons, but to, hang on, when there's, um, there's one that feels clearly superior to all the rest. It's that one, isn't it? The shotgun's too useful for the hordes, I think, so we'll we'll stick with that. And the magazine. 60 round magazine in a single shot rifle. <laughs> Compared to 40 in a machine gun. Why game? Why? Why did you why did you do this? Not that it matters too much, it seems to work okay. Okay, we need to launch this rocket. I need to spend my skill point as well. We're going to go for... We can't get into Hiker just yet. Gymnast is stamina stuff. Wide shoulders... Might be useful. I think just 10 health. I'm just going to take 10 health. I, I don't really feel like... We're not going to get up here. Charge the rocket. And... Launch Digicode. Yes. Ask Jeff Tusk about the launch code. Okay. For a moment there, I thought I just hadn't read something I should have done. So let's see. Where's my nearest... My nearest... Um, <laughs> internet cafe at? Captain Mikado! Thank you for the 65 months. That is, that's nearly five and a half years. That is amazing. Thank you so much. Hope your dad is well. Thanks for asking. He's, um, he's not had the best of news recently. Well, the good news was that uh, he thought he might have had prostate cancer. Um, he hasn't. It's not cancer. It's just getting old. <laughs> but he's fine on that regard. Uh, the bad news he's had is that his, his eyesight is not so great at the moment. It might just be a, a bad cataract, I'm not sure, but he's not supposed to drive at the moment. And being a farmer and being the only one that can really operate all the machinery and stuff, that's a bit of a problem. But yeah, he's, he's okay, thanks. He's fine. Tusk to Earth. What? The rocket's finished, but needs a code? You must have used an old control module. Well, either we start over and you do all that work again, or I'll give you access to my father's secure lab to look for the code. The lab might as well be useful to someone. I'll grant you access with the mega hoop, but don't touch anything in there. Just find the code and come join us. Hmm. Only bring what you need. We already have everything here. See you on H2, and have a good trip. Only bring what you need. I wonder what we'll find in there. So the, the laboratory's unlocked. Excellent. There's a fast travel station just here. Let's go and see what we find in there. Go to the designated location. Where is the designated location then? 
It's here. I'm glad I unlocked that station then. I need zombies. Can I take my zombies with me? That would be interesting. Oh, okay. It's right. So it actually puts you straight into the uh, the lab. That is very interesting. Is this not considered a hot area? It doesn't seem to be. So let's change. Get that off. You can have the shredder was quite good. And on number two, I don't think we need that. So you can also go with the shredder. Shredders, shredders were good. And are we using the right things? Yep, we've got taunt, heal out of combat, hack. Okay, we're good. Let's see what we can find. This says explore the area. Gasoline. Thank you. T-Pode. T-Pode, thank you so much. Did that just flash up there? It did. Excellent. I hope that, I think that was a bit of a faster reaction for my YouTube alerts. That's great news. But uh, yes, welcome. Welcome to the membership of the YouTube channel. Thanks for that. So, did one of my guys get thrown through the wall? It looks like two got thrown through the wall. Let's go out and get him back if we can. That's a lot of zombies. I don't think we can activate those ones down there. Having said that, I think we're going through there at some point, aren't we? I'm glad I've got the shotgun. Right, let's see if we can catch up. Those guys are just going to have to reappear at some point when they can. This seems eerily quiet. Oh, I can I can open the doors? That's awesome. Uh, I feel like I should go there. I feel like that's the quest item just there. Oh, what? Hang on. Is this moon base? They're not on the moon at all, are they? That's... Um, that's a nice twist in the game, is that? If that's... There'll be people in chat saying, this is how they filmed the real moon landings, Mark. You know, the ones that they claim Neil Armstrong landed on, it was all, it was all fake. This is how they did it. Ha, huh. okay, I like this. This is good. <laughs> hey there, rocket launcher. This is a thank you message. It was a bit of work, but you've managed to build the rocket that will fly me out of paradise and to the moon. <laughs> Looks like a giant <laughs> cock. By now, you've probably realized I was never up there to begin with. Well, thanks to you, that's all going to change very soon. In fact, takeoff is happening in just a few minutes. So I'll have to cut this short. Unfortunately for you, the mega hoop you just used to get here is now locked. And it'll stay that way until the rocket's departure. So, while you await your impending doom, feel free to enjoy the place. There might be some cake left in the fridge. <laughs> Thanks again for so kindly helping with my rescue. And please accept my apologies for any inconveniences. Okay, he's going to be the boss that we fight at the end, right? Do we have to race to get back? Okay, one. Oh, okay, they're opening everything. Yeah, not being able to drive is bad for a farm, and it's bad for anyone, especially if you live in a rural location. There's no bus routes or anything where they live. Um, but yeah, I do hope they're getting fixed. Thanks, thanks for the thoughts, anyway. I'm sure they will get fixed. I'm sure it'll be all right. Okay, do we have a timer on? Return to your rocket. Okay. I wanted to kind of explore this, this place. Um, not sure where I'm supposed to be going. Let's see. I'm going to try the obvious. Nope. 
The other one is that we can try and run back into the desert area. It's going to be a bit slow with hordes of zombies, isn't it? Come on, guys. We're going to go this way. If I can get back there, it's not far to one of the stations. And, of course, this makes perfect sense. Very hot area. Hang on. Okay, we only have one way of doing this, then. The game is, is, is really sticking it to me now. Right, shotgun is the weapon of choice for clearing these guys out. Am I going the right way? Nope. This is not where I wanted to be. Just a minute, that might be where I need to be. Is there not a... Have I not missed something? I might have to redo this bit. I feel like I'm probably going to fail this. Oh, okay, I, it is that way. This was not the crossroads I thought it was. Well, we're on the way. question is, are we going to... There only is one direction we can go, isn't there? Well, I'm going to have to hope there's a way out of here, because it seems like there will be. Why put all this stuff here to, like, slow me down if there's no reason to go up here? There's nothing here. Ah, there's nothing here. Interesting. We can't get over that. With any luck, this bloody rocket won't work. Uh, all right, so it's the other way out, okay. Crap, I took a wrong turn. Hi, Christy, how's it going? The way that clock is ticking down in my ear is it's there just to annoy me, I, I think. Music's good, though. It's one thing I consistently like about this game, the, the soundtrack has always been awesome. I see this is the obvious way out, and if you'd just gone out with the other entrance of that flipping studio, we would have been fine. Gonna try going this way. Uh, someone attack this bit, please. We can get through it. There we go. One minute left. <laughs> I'm hoping there's a hoop at the end of this I can get into. Oh, I've, I've, I've overdone this. Turn, 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 shoot and turn. Cat, my mouse is gone. It's over, isn't it, folks? It is over. Screw you guys, I'm going for it. Oh, there's a flipping one of these at the end of it. Oh, I can't actually shoot my way through this, can I? Right. It's over. Damn it! Finish the game with a bad ending. I'm hoping it's going to let us have a, re a retry of that one. It's because I didn't know the way out of the base. I knew I should have gone and explored that area before triggering that for the quest. I, 
I do that in every sodding game ever. If I find what looks like the end of a quest, I never go and do it. I always go and explore the area first. And why did I not do that here? I should have done it here. Uh, let's have a look. It's okay, but we can do it again. So we're going to see the bad ending and the good ending. Maybe a saddle would work. It might do. Now we know what we're going to have to go through. I think we might need to keep these guys with the cool thing on. Yeah, is there a quicker way I can get through those barriers? I don't need the rifle. So instead of the rifle, I can put the chainsaw on. The shotgun feels like it's, it's kind of essential. Saddle would work to go through. Let's make sure I've got some ammunition for this, by the way. Oh, and chainsaws? Yeah, we, we need some more fuel. So, actually, I, I seem to have plenty. Yeah, I should have enough. That's okay. Then. Uh, zombie stuff. Do we need to quit them a bit differently? Mm. Chainsaws, I think. To come and get through those barriers. Flamethrowers? Actually, for the, the big stacks of... No, I can clear the stacks. That's okay. Yeah, let's give them chainsaws. I can't even see where the chainsaw is on there. There it is. And the hammer. The hammer's good against buildings. That's good against everything. Let's let's go with that. We'll try this again. Respect for zombie saddle maximum speed. I don't think we're going to need that because you can't uh, you can't fight properly on top of that, which is really annoying. But what I can do is I can explore this area first properly this time maybe blast my way through some zombies and clear some zones out and then we'll we'll uh, we'll take another attempt i'm glad it hasn't just said that's it game over you failed because that would suck i could this would be the time to take my special tea and stuff wouldn't it that i've got right chainsaw is on Oh, tickly nose. Shotgun loaded. There is something that increases your range damage, but we're just fighting through hordes here. We don't need to do more range damage. But the, the damage reduction one would be a good one to take. Ah, uh, okay, I see. So we, we can't go ahead. No, okay. The game is not set up to allow us to cheat, so that's that's all right. That's fine. We've got to do this. So we, we know the way now. At least we think we do. I'll keep the uh, cold stuff on. There is a zombie in here, actually. I don't think there's anything else, is there, that we can pick up or do. Alright, okay. Here we go. Actually. Oh, it's okay. I thought this was missing. I thought we were just here just to look and the game has ended and we're going to play through. But it's actually, no, we can do it. Right. Very clever. Let's go. Out the side door. <laughs> we're already stuck. We're not off to the best of starts. This is going to be the fun bit. There you go. Right, I've got the... Uh, Super zombie damage resistant everything now.
Come on, guys, just leave them. Go away. The trouble is, it just it does slow you down, and I am taking damage while this is going on. What's that one? Let's take one of those. Improved bandages. Not used them before. This is why we need them. We save them right to the end of the game. Go away. If this doesn't work, we're going to have to think of a different idea for finding a quick way back. And the zombie saddle might be the thing to, to go for. Those guys off us. Right then. Don't attack that whilst we bandage up. It ain't worth trying to use a chainsaw on the, on the zombies. It's too slow. I wonder if I should have given my Zombots the, uh, the shotguns and respect for, for range damage. Interesting that there's no wall there now. Does it remember the damage I... No, it can't have done because it's respawned the bones. Oh, please tell me we can... Yeah, we can <laughs> saw through the barbed wire, thankfully. Right, this is leading me out back into the desert area, I'm, I'm certain of this. This would be quite the challenge, I think, without a shotgun. I'm in the volcano, so I've got the right armor on things, it's good. Okay, we should be able to drop down here now. We have two minutes. Come on, keep up, keep up. Pull me down, pull me down. There is a travel station at the bottom of here. Whether this one works is a different matter. It does. Straight onto the base. Right, let's go and stop him. That was that was fun. That was a really nice ending to the game there with the, the moon base and stuff. Right, let's go and stop it then. Launch Digico. I've returned to the rocket. I don't see... I don't see anything else to do. Am I supposed to destroy it? Move? Uh... Hello? I don't want to destroy it, but maybe that's, maybe that's the thing to do. I'm not traveling. Imminent tech, maybe I do destroy it. Interact, cancel. Interact, move. Destroyed rocket. Repair the rocket. Your rocket's been destroyed. You need to repair it to get the H2 and escape the zombies. Oh, God. So that wasn't the thing to do, then. What else was I supposed to do? Okay, well, I guess we're building it again. I'll, I'll see where I... Oh, hang on. There's, there's a... there's a, there's a We found a green pixel. Hang on. <laughs> He's launched anyway in my rocket that I just destroyed, which then continued to fail the quest. So... Uh, curious? Curious? 
So there is a moon base up there then. So you need the code. It doesn't say anything about the code. I guess we're doing this again. I think the code was just, wasn't that just like a distraction to get me to go to his, um, his, his, his base. Upgrade. Craft. Right. I think I've got, as long as I've got everything to do here. It looks like I've got two of everything now. Can I build two rockets? That would be hilarious if I could. Right, I guess we're doing that again. Well, we have the tactic. Does it suggest that we still need the code? So maybe I need to look around the base and find the code before we, we come back and before we trigger that. I have a feeling I might be able to, lock, to build another one, you know, with that, because it seems like it said I had two. No, it won't let me. Okay, we're going back in. <laughs> we know the way out. We can do it in the time we've got available. We've got the weapons for the job. And let's have a proper look around that place and see if there's anything. Because there might be a poster, not here, but in the wall of the actual moon base. That might count as a code. I mean, it's technically possible there could be something in here but I, I would be surprised if it was in this bit let's go take another look it's a shame I can't can I I can't aim at them anyway oh I can ah, I've got nothing I've got nothing to actually try and silence all them with I'm thinking like do I have a bomb or something um also yeah, let's let's change those up. The chainsaws are too slow. Let's put them on anything spiky clubs. Actually, should I change them to shotguns? They're not specced for it. I'll try though. I don't think the zombies really matter. So where's the best looking? Do we have a common shotgun? I'll put those on. Actually, one one with a club, one with a shotgun. Let's let's have a mixture and see what happens. So. What we haven't done ever is go north out of here. I can't see that there'd be like something to the north that was actually the secret code, but it's it might be possible. We have time if that's going to do it, so. So I need to not click on anything. And we need to have a look around. Can you see anything that looks like there's a bat? Oh, it said search. Oh, 8270. Unbelievable. If we have the launch code, do I even need to do that? Can I not just, just travel back? We'll not talk to him. Let's see, because this might be an alternative ending path where we don't actually talk to him and trigger that. And we just go back and uh, and launch with that. Let's see if that's a thing. I'm all up for getting alternative endings in games. No, this is now blocked. Okay, there is one way and only one way out of here. But now we know what we're doing. So it's 8270. Would someone please type and repeat that in chat, please, both Twitch and YouTube, so when I forget what it is and we're down to 30 seconds, I can just glance over and read it off there. Thanks, guys. Cheers. Cheers for that. Right, let's go and see. I mean, we know what's going to happen. It's going to be the same thing again.
Right, let's get the damage reduction on. Let's get the soundtrack going. We've got the beats. It's time to start chewing our way through zombies. I do wonder, actually, if the machine gun might be awesome for this bit as well. Let's find out. There is no point in, in not knowing, is there? I'm going to do it instead of that. Oh, I put the rifle on by mistake. My bad. It, the rifle does a lot of damage, obviously. I'm messing about now, and I shouldn't be. Oh, no. Wrong, wrong, wrong weapons. Shit. Um, I need the shotgun. What have we got with all that? <laughs> Nearly dead. <laughs> right. Thinking, ah, oh, we'll be safe. We're fine. We're fine. No, I can. I can instantly see this is not going to be better. It might be on, like, it works fine for that. I'll take it for that. It does chew through things, but not nearly as effectively as, as this. There's just nothing better than that. For multi-target damage. Maybe a melee weapon? I don't know. He <laughs> just turn around and just, just blow them away. Hey Tom, how's it going? Right, reload. Take the better bandages. Machine gun through this. I mean, I'm not saying that's not fun. <laughs> that is a load of fun. And it reloads really quick. Okay, this, this is quite good fun, like it's working well on this bit. And the piercing attack that we've got is really nice as well. <laughs> that is a slow progression though. Oh, look at that piercing though, that's awesome. I'm going to be honest, it's nice just to use a different weapon and still get good results out of it. However, there comes a time when I think we better get a move on here. Right, we're good though. We're clear. We're nearly clear. We are clear. We're down to two minutes. We're going to be fine. The zombies are going to catch me up in a minute. Come on, guys. Can we cool me down? It's getting a bit warm. A bit toasty. Time to move. So, it was 8270. Let's go and push that in. Where's the where's the interact button? Launch no ninja code 8270. Should I not have been oh, in it first? You just entered the launch code? Thanks a bunch. That's going to save me some time. What? But I... Now I'm confused. Back we go. 
That's actually thrown me out of the game this time. Chapter 9, liftoff. Okay. So I've tried destroying the rocket, and that doesn't work. And I have tried doing it properly, getting the code and coming back, and that doesn't work. Oh, hang on a minute. I bet if I search that place faster, I bet there's a cancellation code as well where you cancel it. I just need to search that studio a bit more. I bet there is. I, I, I bet there's a thing in there which cancels the launch and it's a, it's a cancellation code I need. Uh, weapons, what shall I use? Um, I will go machine gun and shotgun again. The trouble with failing every time is that it's costing me a lot of ammunition. <laughs> Actually, no, I won't do that. I better have a decent melee weapon. I'll go chainsaw and shotgun. That seems to be the way to go. The machine gun's quite costly. I should be able to craft some ammunition here. Also, we're level 48. How much of this can I... I can craft... Oh, I can craft a lot of ammo. I don't see that we need much... Oh, let's do that. Hang on. That should give us loads. I don't have my damage reduction thing anymore. I don't think we can improve anything any further. There is explosive bolts and arrows and stuff. I don't think we need to worry. We should be fine. 4,000 rounds in the shotgun. We should be good. Right then. Let's go back. So the chainsaws for getting through barriers. The shotguns for absolutely everything else. Fast travel. Go to the designated location. This time we're going to search around and see if there's a cancellation code. I should have just gone to the rocket now and put 8270 in and see if it works, shouldn't I? Before we came up here. The game has an immense amount of trolling right at the end here. <laughs> That's all I can say. There is another part to the back of this and it's to go north out of the studio. We can't access it until... We kick off the attack. Right, so we search for that. Right, launch code is now 9126. If you guys wouldn't mind sticking that in chat for me. Examine. It's just coming up with the same thing. Oh, documents detailing the buildings at the entrance to Paradise, as well as the Warden, Annie, and his Ivy CVs. Nobody has read these in a good while. Is that all that says? Is there anything else to search over here? So the launch code changes every time you try it. So I couldn't have just put the, the previous one in before we came here, which is interesting. And once I've come here, I can't get back without triggering that device. So we have to trigger it. I'm just going to go out and make sure this is, this is definitely the case. And that there's nothing hidden in the back here. Uh, it's just, just rubbish. And that door's shut and we can't get through. Okay, I'm kind of out of ideas. There's nothing else over here, is there? I'm just going to exit the building and make sure we, we explore around. So getting back in time is not a problem, but then there's nothing we can do. 
and it won't let me go back and destroy the rocket to stop him taking off. So that's not the option. I don't think there's anything else I can interact with. Unless I turn the power off at the base. I can't go and do these bits. That's a dead end anyway. Well, I think these open up and these come surging out to attack once the, the thing triggers. We can't currently return. So if I went back, the only thing I could think of would be to turn the power off. This doesn't have a wattage requirement, so the, the power's not going to matter. So there's no cancellation code. Let me just let me just explore around a bit a bit further in case there's something stupid that I've missed. What about on this desk? Anything? There's nothing on the map, is there? Do you think there might be something up there? I, I, I honestly don't, but we have the time to go and explore it once we trigger the thing. So I think we will. And there's nothing on these desks. Could I send a zombie in and self-destruct? Could that be the answer? To go in and... I don't think so. I don't think we want to blow it up. And that desk upstairs that flashes in the cutscene, is there a desk upstairs? This one up here. Let me take another look. There's nothing to interact with. Can't, there's nothing down there. I don't see anything else to play with here. That being said, once it flashes in the cutscene, you might be right. That might prime it to go and play with. Let's go and watch the cutscene properly and see if there's any any clues. Because you're right, we do get that extra little scene hey afterwards. Hey there, rocket launcher. This is a thank you message. It was a bit of work, but you've managed to build the rocket that will fly me out of paradise and to the moon. <laughs> By now, you've probably realised I was never up there to begin with. Well, thanks to you, that's all going to change very soon. In fact, takeoff is happening in just a few minutes. So I'll have to cut this short. Unfortunately for you, the mega hoop you just used mm. to get here is now locked. And it'll stay that way until the rocket's departure. So, while you await your impending doom, feel free to enjoy the place. There might be some cake left in the fridge. Thanks again for so kindly helping with my rescue, and please accept my apologies for any inconveniences. Okay, what's this next bit that comes up? This is this is what I should, probably should have paid more attention to beforehand. Right, is it just that the alarms are going off? It does flash onto that briefly. That says. Well, it just says gate one, doesn't it, on the door. I don't think that's the clue. I'm going to go back up and take a look. It says, just says return to the rocket, but... There is nothing there. Oh, the hell? Oh, it's because I've clicked out the window again. Sorry, I have now moved the chat window on us. It's scrolled on us. Panic. Right, we're going this way. That's going to really annoy me. I need to put that back. There we go. <laughs> right. We'll go north in this area now because we do have the time to do it. Boom. Slowly being eaten here. I strongly suspect this is a dead end. But we'll never know if we don't look.
my zombies running around. There's nothing there, is there? It was just a dead end. It's okay, we're good for time. We're fine. I will bandage up shortly, don't worry. So the game is full of dead ends, which is very interesting. It's kind of awkward to use the chainsaw to aim with. Back! Back, you vile scum, into the depths of the night from whence you came. Come on, you better reload this mark quick. This is getting a bit, a bit dicey here. Right, bandage up again. What the hell was that? He turned around and shot at nothing. What are we doing for time? Two minutes. It's getting a little bit close. I'll not deny that. Of course, I have to work out what the hell I'm going to do when I get there. Can't put the launch code in. That's, that doesn't work. Can't see old Elon Tusk there anywhere to, to stop him. There's an eject code to be found boxes near the shelves in the first in the first room with the mega hoop. Is there really? Well, it's too late for that then, isn't it? Sadly. Unbelievable, it's in that room. That is annoying. So all we can do is go back and fail again, eh? Why would the eject code be in there, though? That's that's the really annoying thing. It does ask me off a bit that I can't just disassemble the rocket and stop it that way. Wait, I can't stop it from here, can I? No. You would think you'd be able to, like, stop it from here. What was the launch code? 9216. So if I put 6219 in reverse. Oh well. It's taken off in 23 seconds and there's nothing I can do about it. So I guess we'll go back. That is super annoying. Super, super annoying. We'll have a look in that room then. That rock would explode and kill you if you tried to use the violent method. <laughs> Hmm, we can't, we can't blow it up. Okay, we've seen this. We know how that works. Right, so this time we're going to actually complete this. Uh, the chainsaw's boring. Let me have a go. The flamethrower will be equally boring. I'm going to have a play with the machine gun again. So we're going back. And this time... We're going to check out this flipping room. This this tiny little room that looks like a storage room or something. So there's something behind the boxes in here. It 
seems we've got company. Right, let's take another look. So, there's a gas lighter. There's Oh, there is something to examine on here. It looks like a pla Why would you think there was something to examine on there? Is that the eject code? A familiar looking couscous plate. It hasn't been finished. Whoever was eating it probably presumably didn't like it. That's not it. Okay, that's that's not it. Is there anything else around here? No. Not there. So we've got the bandage and the tape. And I don't see anything else in there. Let's go into the bedroom. <laughs> I didn't loot, the, loot it properly. Yes, I failed. Lost for not looting it properly. Well. Hang on. Let's make sure we get all that. So there's everything I can possibly press E on, I'm getting rid of. I'm not seeing anything in here. Was this the room? Boxes near shelves in first room with mega hoop. Yeah. Is that what it says on the uh, on Tinternet? I don't see anything. Well, we're not triggering it until we've found. It's, there's only this plate. Unless it's random, unless it randomizes it, it's randomized the, the launch code twice. Could it randomize where the location of this thing is? It's up to the table you searched. All I can, all I can get to examine is uh, is a plate of couscous. Between the shelves? You mean in here? Don't see anything there. There's there's this set of shelves as well. Oh wait, hang on, no, something just right up in this corner. Holy crap! Eject code fifty thirty one. That is unbelievable. We'll get the launch code as well because we might need that to launch ourselves afterwards. How would you think? Why would does that that that? Didn't, that didn't even flash up to search the first two times I ran down here. Unbelievable. That is annoying. Did anyone else? So I'm sure some of you guys watching this have already finished. Let me know if, if you also found that ugly frustrating to find. Uh, I don't know that I would have gone back to look there. Well, I mean, I've just gone back to look there and didn't find it. As we ran past several times. Thanks, Tipo. That's uh, that's saved me a load of asshole. <laughs> Guys, get out of the way. I can't get in here. There might be something near that trash. You mean the trash? What in here or at the other place? I'm going to get the launch code as well. So is the launch code also, it's 8772. So that's always here. The one we want is 5031. And this says the same thing, right? Yeah, it's just the CVs and stuff like that. All right, cheers guys. Let's trigger this and depart. Properly this time. That's super annoying. Just super annoying. Right, let's go. I maybe should have given the zombies some different weapons. I don't think it matters. Get down. I better bandage, I think. Things are looking desperate already. Oh. 
Let's have a play. Okay, he's alive. Right, a bit of bandage. The guys are getting eaten alive as well. Get off them! Right, let's just buy some time. Anyone coming with me? Let's get them to gang up here. Bandage again. When the zombies are all lined up nicely like that, the machine gun's a superior weapon. Potentially. It's a fun weapon, I'm not going to deny that. The, the shotgun's just... It's still better just because it blasts things away from you. Leave me alone, horrible beasties. How are we off the time? Three minutes. Well, we are approaching the, the end point of this bit, so that's okay. Let's line them all up on the other side. This is going to be good. <laughs> there is something very satisfying about cooking off rounds in a video game with a heavy machine gun. There. These, these, this is the sort of area where this works best. Right up this canyon. Get him off me, get him off me. Yeah, look at that damage, that is beautiful damage. I feel like Rambo here. Okay, we should be good now. <laughs> Some guy's falling through the flipping floor. One minute twenty, okay, that's getting a little bit tight for time. Um yeah, that was getting hot there as well. Okay. Doing this nice, chilled and relaxed. We're fine. Eject code 5031. We're ready. We're prepared. Launch digicode 5031. Eject. Wait, hang on. It was launching? Enter the launch code. I'm guessing it's for us now. 8772. Did we do it the right way round? We will see. Finish the game with a good ending. Home sweet home. Oh, look at that. Couldn't happen to a nicer person. The moon for Stu. I love that. That's in the, you've, you guys have seen the Dummies Guide to Everything, right? Dummies Guide to Computers, Dummies Guide to Apple. I love that. That's a nice little reference. The game's got lots of little secret hidden references in. Not so secret, but you know what I mean. Let's see how he's going to drink that through the helmet. That was a better space game than Starfield.
<laughs> All right. Nice. Little green men on the moon, eh? Oh, well, I'm glad I've finished that. I finished it properly this time. That's a good game. That is a good game. I'd love to try this in multiplayer to see what it's like there. But, uh, yeah, I can actually... I feel like we've, we've earned the win on that one. Although, I must admit, finding that eject code felt a little bit too random at the end. It, it really was. Yeah, we got away from the zombies, eh? Be careful what you wish for. That moon face looking thing there, is that not a reference to the outer world? Or an object from that? Or is it just something else? Think there'll be anything at the end of the credits? So what do you guys think of that one? Welcome to paradise. That was actually <clears throat> that was actually a good find. So I tried it during the Steam Next Fest, and that was one of only two games I think that really intrigued me through that. There was this and those News Tower, which I'm playing over on the second channel, by the way. If anyone wants to go and watch, it is. I'll drop the link manually on YouTube because it doesn't seem to. It doesn't seem to. Um... Oh, sorry, I've lost the I've lost the sound. Hang on. That's because I've clicked out of the window. If anyone's not following me on the second channel, then go and follow me on the second channel. Because uh, I've got other series that I don't stream up there now. It used to be just like a stream archive. It's it's not anymore. It's got new content and new stuff over on there. Uh, mainly strategy games at the moment, but uh, who knows what's next. Oh, News Tower, the newspaper game, which is just superb. You think I missed panties in the trash in the studio? I think we we could probably do without uh, the panties. <laughs> Who knows what that would find, actually. It might be some epic piece of armor I could have put on. Elon Musk's underwear. Tesla underwear. Doesn't work out of the factory and has a risk of catching fire. All right, that was a, that was a good game. I thought that was a good game. It was way better than I expected it to be and it actually held up right into the end and I loved the twist in the end there didn't see that coming at all maybe should have done but I, I thought that was that was good one of the better games I've found this year and perhaps of the last year as well so it just goes to show that the smaller companies can produce some better stuff when you look at the big what the big companies are producing at the moment Ubisoft producing utter trash. Bethesda producing utter trash. Um, Activision Blizzard just being a trash bandits with everything as usual. Uh, people making re-releases of old classic games and can't even copy their old games so they work as well as the old games did. Uh, it's just, it's a, the games industry is not in a great state with things. But then you get smaller companies like whoever's produced this. I think Nason or Nakon have uh, published it and then the News Tower crew and these are fantastic games the EA Trash Parade yeah quite Resident Evil 10 I haven't played any of the Resident Evil games ever I have no idea of how the story goes from 1 through to whatever <laughs> you don't fancy electric underwear I was actually watching the IT crowd last night and Moss developed I think an electric bra, the best bra ever, which actually caught fire. So it's it's quite on topic for... I just turned the telly on. It was just a random episode. It was actually quite on topic for what we've seen today. Yeah, Tesla underwear. It was predicted back then. Anyway, I'm assuming there's going to be no, nothing further after the credit. Oh, I didn't realise we could speed this up. Testronic. PTW. Poll to win. I guess these are different companies that have had enough uh, input on it. Special thanks to a load of people. And the end. Is it the end? So where does that put us? It actually That actually takes us out the game. And I guess what you could do... Skills unlocked 50... Oh, I got skill points for handing in the knives, didn't I? The, I, I didn't hit max level. 
I never used the best rifle, but that wouldn't have been much use at the end game anyway. I guess we could create someone new and go through it again. Don't think the game would be any different the second time round, but you can play it differently, going like different builds and building the base somewhere else. The base design, I'd like to... I enjoyed the base design. I'd like to try building it somewhere else and seeing what it's like to, to bring in hordes of stuff against you. We're all giddy about quadruple A games. <laughs> quadruple A games. Who was it that coined that phrase? It was the oh, it was the people behind um, Suicide Squad. Oh God, I'd forgotten about that. That disaster. It's just one disaster after another at the moment with the the big name games, isn't it? They would release Dragon's Dogma Two, but they added too many DRMs into it. Oh yeah, there's a lot of lot with that. If you do you like DRMs, buy, buy games from GOG. It's all DRM free. You can even buy the installer, the offline installer, install the game. You don't need to have the client installed, as in the GOG launcher, to, to play games. You can just get the original EXE file to just install the damn thing. And that's, that's great for anyone with weird internet connection problems or is going to take a machine off, I don't know, they're in the Navy, they're not going to have the internet for six months. Get the games on, sorted. We've had... I, I don't know what the word is for six AAAAA games, actually. Sex... Sex triplet games? Sex triplet A games? I don't know. Terrible stuff. Oh, God, yeah. t I've forgotten that new pirate online game. was That was labelled quadruple A. That was the one that was, wasn't it? It was Skull and Bones. That was a bit of a disaster. Because I think people actually went back and played... Assassin's Creed 4 instead of playing that new sort of offshoot of it because the original and the content it had in there was way better. God, yeah, it does make you depressed for the big name games and makes you realise you've got to look out for the lesser known things and give them a try. I wouldn't have looked twice at News Tower had it not had that demo out and someone mentioned it on Twitter. It, it's not the sort of thing that I thought, yeah, it's not really me, it doesn't look that good from the graphics, I'll give it a miss. But I had nothing better to do, and I tried the demo, and I loved it. And the same with this, I would have probably thought, oh, it's another stupid zombie survival game, I've played so many, I'm fed up with them. This was a really good game. So, yeah, I've got to, I've got to keep a more open mind on looking at smaller games, because I do get sent offers of things, and I look it up, and I see what it's like on Steam, and where they're at with development, and I think, yeah doesn't look that great i'm gonna have to spend more time trying them because the, the 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 big name stuff just it just doesn't cut it at the moment but then you get something like Baldur's gate 3 which just blows everything away so you know we, we can't make sweeping blanket statements but they're not larry and aren't classed as a triple a game studio i don't think it says a lot it does Yeah, sorry, Todd, I've just seen your message. We have come back to that. But I don't think Larry and a, a, a large, a larger game studio for certain. But I don't think they're, they're, as, they're not as big as the AAA stuff. The shareholders for the big companies might have a wee bit too much to say in the games. I don't know if it's the shareholders, as I suspect the people on the board wanting to impress shareholders and going for like big licenses, big books probably trying to make as many savings as possible in production or either that or it's games are being designed by committee and uh, like people are having all these ideas of what they want in that's going to make big bucks and make money and sell and the, they're not actually sitting down and producing a quality story which then translates into a quality game like a smaller company can do and let's be honest not all small companies make great games so we, we can't swing that way either. I've played some absolute garbage that's come from smaller companies in the past. Uh, so th there is there's a bit of... Uh, we have to have a bit of forgiveness in both directions. Larian have no shareholders. <laughs> they might have in the future after the success that they've uh, achieved. But no, it's good. So far, it's, it's, they've done really well. I think a lot of developers simply no longer have sufficient creative skills. I don't know if it's that. Someone actually, I was reading something in an article on this, yes, or a Twitter post, and it was like, uh, being a game developer in a big company is like you, you, you work in a team, 
you work for someone who answers to someone else, who answers to someone else, who answers to someone else. And the ideas that you have about something never go past the person above you because the person above them is not interested in ideas that develop what you're working on. It's like the ideas come down the chain of what you have to do, but they don't necessarily all gel together. Um, and that's one of the, it's like any big industry or any big organization. Uh, yeah. So anyway, that's Welcome to Paradise. I need to find a new game to stream tomorrow. I think I have just the thing, actually. Something that I've been saying I was going to give a try of. It is Classified France 44. I've been getting the name of this wrong for the last two weeks. I've also got a demo of something called Norland, which we might have a, a look at. In fact, I might check it out later tonight and see what it's like. It's supposed to be like a, a cute little strategy game. It's a small... It is a small developer for certain. The game was less than a gigabyte to download, so it's going to be a small thing. This is like a, um, an XCOM-style tactical squad-based battle thing, but in World War II, so this could be good. Company recently had to admit that their attempt to have AI do an entire game was an abject failure. Yeah, I could totally imagine that. So this might be tomorrow's stream. I'll, I'll have a look and see what it looks like. Four years ago, the Nazi beast got loose and rampaged across Europe, conquering all it could. Now, the conquered wait for invasion, for ships and airplanes to put an army ashore in France and drive the beast back to Berlin. That'll be enough. We don't want to spoil the start for tomorrow. Uh, this game collects and sends anonymous analytics to help us track. No, opt out. You don't need to know what I'm doing with my computer. Thank you very much. Okay, it looks like it's it's sort of a you are I don't know the dirty dozen type of uh, squad full of special forces and resistance fighters taking on missions to go and I know behind enemy lines take out V two rocket sites stuff like that. I honestly don't know too much about it, but I have heard that it's got potential. So we shall see. I think we're going to play this tomorrow. World War Two XCOM is the best way to describe it. I think Jingles played it a couple of months back. Yeah, I got sent this. This is the demo. This isn't the... Is it the demo? This might be the demo. But I got sent it, so we'll, we'll maybe give this a try. See what I think. Anyway, folks, uh, I'm going to leave you there. So have a great night, and I will see you tomorrow around 2.30, and um, we will investigate something. Anyway, have a great night, and I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>